You need a help there, Captain? Want me to pull you, pull you there up? We there we go. I don't get why that just keeps happening every so often. Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Fierce Might Lieutenant Durkir, who is very sober. <laughs> Unlike the Captain. And yeah, welcome back to Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, where last time, well, we got started on the game, uh, we ran into a... <laughs> A, a guy called Bjorn Heimdall in Iceland, and when we returned to them, we found that they were dumb enough to get themselves frozen to death. So, yeah, we joined the artifact that they were <laughs> that they were trying to get out of the ice, uh, traded that for some information, and now we've got one of the stones that we need <clears throat> to, well, get into Atlantis, supposedly. Yeah, and we also... Um, yeah, we <laughs> we volunteered Sophia for the knife throwing contest, and uh, we're lucky she gave us the knife. Otherwise, she would have well given us the knife. Uh, why is it blood stained? Wait, it's uh. wait, it's blood stained. It's a sharp blood stained knife. I okay, think okay. I know why it's blood stained. Yeah, it didn't it, it didn't hit her, but it was it's supposed to be. A souvenir knife, but that does not explain the well blood. It, it might be from earlier uh, attempts or practice. For let's be honest, you're bound to cut yourself uh, when practicing knife juggling. Yeah, and he start. did mention an uh, an incident, quote unquote. So yeah. uh, <laughs> we might have been accidentally. Well, ac we might have just been given a. a <laughs> <laughs> a potential murder weapon, or a manslaughter or, weapon. That, or a weapon that has been in uh, a uh, dangerous accident. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, dear. <clears throat> yeah, since we have got the stone, we got the, the merchant back here to reveal themselves as the guy we were looking for who knows about more artifacts. He gave us a map, and, well... We f <laughs> Indy and Sophia went into the desert, and all they found was jack and shit. So nothing. Um, uh, don't forget, mm, one of the camels died. One big axe. Yeah, I think they... Mm, uh, both of them could have died. Uh, one, that was one of the dialogue options, I remember, but I didn't... Don't think it said anything about one, or... I think it said both. Oh, well. There might be for... They didn't return with the camels, so... Something happened with the camels! Could be, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, for clarification, I do have a guide on the side for, well, when we got stuck, not if we get stuck. And, hmm. Yeah, we're going to need to get to this uh, some other way than through the desert because these two are going to get hopelessly lost. Again, likely, if we try again. But there is the balloon over to the side. So. Maybe we can... Well, we need to get tickets for that somehow. Hmm. Is this beggar here still? Hello there. It's... Back again, eh? It's... How's business? I've seen worse. Today I'm offering a discount. Give me food and I'll give you a free gift. Now, let me get back to work, please. Alright, yeah, he wants food. We do have a baseball here, which is supposedly signed by some sort of, you know, some sort of baseball star, but let's take a look at it. Hey, this hasn't been signed by Lou Gehrig, it's some guy named Ron Gilbert. 
<laughs> really? <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, maybe we can trade it for some foods. <laughs> yes. Oh, the squad would sure hit the spot. Twenty dinars, if any. Let's see. Maybe we can make a deal. What kind of deal? Uh, I don't think we want to no. give the sunstone. That, uh, not that they'd buy it, anyways. Uh, beautiful knife for a squad. <laughs> Fine leather jackets. Come on again. <laughs> uh, that, that's just a joke that keeps popping up in these point and click adventures. But let's see if they'll take this. I'll trade you this autographed baseball for a squad. Mm hmm. Sorry, Fendi, I never accept gifts for myself. And certainly not in this color. On this color, what? Uh, what? Hmm. I've got Wait, one. what? Uh, that was a... That was a weird line, a bit of an odd line. Uh, the knife, I'll maybe? This beautiful knife for a squab. I already have several of those knives. The knife thrower has notoriously bad aim. <laughs> Okay then, uh, Sophia got really lucky. Hmm. Hey. Back later. Certainly, Effendi. And uh, at this point, I, I just want to give Sophia a hug. <laughs> Let's actually Sophia. see what she has to say. What? Other than an angry hmm. Do you have any dinars? No. What, what is that an now? option? Let's try to find another way to the dig site. Yeah, I I think we need to find... I think we need to get a ticket for the balloon somehow. And I'm guessing we get that by getting food, giving it to the beggar. But, well, we first need to find something <clears throat> that this guy wants. Yeah, Never and... Mind. Okay. Let's not put her through the knife throwing again. Let's not do that. She has been through enough. <laughs> Yeah, so he's, he is very good with juggling those, but he's not good with aiming them. Hmm. Let's see. He wanted the mask back, so... Hmm. Let's... Let me take a peek at the, this here. To empty hands from their trip. Terribly sorry. Hmm. Okay. That's it. He'll drop some clues about he, what he look, what he would like to have. Head back to see Omar and keep trading for items until you get what the grocer wants for the squab. Okay, so no gifts for himself and none that are either white or green. Also, it's been changed to bogus baseball. <laughs> Excuse me again. Yes. Okay. Can I trade my baseball for something else? Do you have anything in mind? Make an offer. Well, how about this voodoo doll? It was cut from trees in the black forest. Hmm. That sounds pretty awful. Have you got anything else? How about this little red wagon? It once belonged to Rudyard Kipling. Ooh. Uh, also, not a clue either, but this is the 40s or 50s. And also, in the 40s, but... He gave me a interesting mental image. He mentioned the Black Forest. <laughs> Valheim? Yeah, I imagine the voodoo law being one of those little graylings. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes? Okay. I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. Yeah, uh, there. This little red wagon for a squab. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry, Fendi, but that trade is out of the question. Hold the squab. Yeah, case. Back later. Certainly, Fendi. Okay, I thought maybe he'd like that for his son or something. Going to doubt it's the voodoo doll unless uh, he wants to use that for someone else. Excuse me again. Or on someone else specifically. Yes. Can I trade my wagon for something else? Do you have anything in mind? Make an offer. 
Well, hmm. how about this yellow yo-yo? It was hand painted by an Arabian princess. I'll yeah, okay. I think we'll just have to try each and every Ooh, item that he has to offer. Okay. Uh, can we just skip this by just trying to give? Trying to I know. Excuse I, I, me. I know. Hmm? Yes. Yeah, I don't. Yo yo is an ancient thing, but I forgot what it was originally used for. I'd like hmm. to make another squab offer. I'm listening. Will you give me a squab for this brand new yo yo? Hmm. I'm sorry, Fendi, but that trade is out of the question. Hold the squad. I'll be back. Uh, okay, so he. I would have. Certainly, Fendi. Hmm. Would have been nice if he gave more hints. But let me actually do a quick look up for what yo yo's were supposed to be. Like, I know. I know it's a joke Excuse that they me, can yeah. be used for weapons. Yeah. Um, yeah. I won't show the way used for hunt. Like. I can see the entertainment in them, even though I've been horrible in trying to use them. Uh, some people are extremely so impressive with them. Else? Do you have anything in mm -hmm. mind? Make an offer. Well, okay. how about this beautiful white cane? It was once touched by Queen Victoria. Let's see, he didn't want something white. I don't think that's it. What else can mm. you show? How about... These charming shaded spectacles? With these, a man can stare straight at the sun. Hmm. Let's I'll try these. Uh, apparently, yo yo's have been around been. since at least 440 BC. That's too long ago. Let's see. Okay, here we go again. I th Excuse mm. me. I get the feeling we might need to get something for his wife or something. A apparently, this is a randomized like bit. Swab offer. I'm listening. Okay, apparently the Greeks also uh, had yo-yos. Swab for these spectacles, even Stephen. Mm hmm. I'm sorry, Fendi, but I cannot make that trade. Although that shade of black fits perfectly in my house. Oh. Okay, so he wants something black. Okay. So we do get clues. I like that. You, you me, really yeah. need to yes. pay attention to the clues. Yeah, and this, well, is going back and forth else? like this. Do you have anything yeah. in mind? Oh. Okay, since we do have a clue now, so we can narrow it down. Good. Anything else? Make an offer. Okay, so well, we need a second clue. This decorative black veil, it goes with anything. That that let's try it. that. He wouldn't you take something for himself. So, yeah, it could be for his wife, if he has one. Hmm. Excuse me. Yes? I'd like to make another swab offer. This guy must be getting pretty sick of us by now. Would you trade me a squab for this black veil? Mm hmm. I'm sorry if anyone uh. not make that trade. Though it is a pleasant color. Hold the squab, I'll be back later. We yeah, are exactly. onto something at least. I do feel yeah, like we are on the right track. We have narrowed it down to a, a specific color. We just need to find, yeah, what the hell he wants. Excuse me again. Mm. Yes. But this does feel like filler. Can I trade my veil for something else? Do you have anything in mind? Yeah. Dark. Maybe black would be good. Anything else? Make an offer. Well, how about this wondrous ebony comb? It was last owned by Matahari herself. Don't know who that I'll is. Take it. Yeah, this you is the 40s, so. 
<laughs> a lot of things that we likely would not get at all. Yeah, okay. but the game is not for the 40s, however. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes? <laughs> He's being he's being polite, but in the back of his mind, I'm pretty sure. Just get the fuck out of my street, dude. I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. This ebony comb for one of your squabs, okay? Hmm. Hmm. This gift will save my marriage, Effendi. There we go. So color coordinated. Here, have a squab. Thank you. <laughs> All right. He is married. Okay, no, no, not to walk to that. We're not getting thrown, uh, getting knife starters again. Okay, not even. What is a squab? Oh, looks like a barbecued pigeon. <laughs> Would not be too a surprised if it is. A squab is a Excuse fruit, if I'm right. You bring food? Here. Thank you, Avendi. Here's your free gift. It's, and it's a balloon ticket. It says one day pass Kareem sightseeing tours. <laughs> okay. No clue how they got that, but we're going to make use of it. Okay. Talk to the balloon man. Hello there. If you have ticket, you see signs. If not, you don't. Okay, still straight to the point, so well, give tickets. A valuable all day pass. Today the skies are yours, Effendi. Yeah, Effendi means something like a scholar, learned one and such. Okay. Yeah, we makes me wonder how looks like it's ready to go. Hmm. Does that his outfit really yell scholar? <laughs> oh it's a oh. sharp bloodstained knife. Okay, it's it's tied down, so we could we could be up here all day, but we'd kind of not want to be. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, can I actually... Uh, what is... Nomad Camp? Okay. Hmm. We need to find... We need to find the... Uh, yeah, the campsite. So... Can we land here? Drop a last? To do that, perhaps? Yeah, yeah drop... Where this affects how high up we are and such. Oh. Uh, and... Okay, I see. <laughs> we also affect the way we go with this. So, landing in the middle of nowhere. Aren't you coming? I'll stay here and watch the balloon. Yeah, we'd rather not want to get uh, lost. And yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything here. So, uh, come on. Listen. Uh Hmm? What? Uh, let, let's be honest. The last thing we want is someone stealing the balloon. Yeah. Go down be... and lifeless out there, huh? I don't know. The rocks look like they're enjoying themselves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we need to be a bit of a we need to do a bit of a balancing act with the hydrogen and the ballast to try and get where we want to be. It's tough to fly a balloon. Try spiraling and counterclockwise next time. Okay, use balloon. I kind of, I, I, I can't how you get up and down. But never understood how you have proper control of it of uh, going light, 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 right or left. Yeah, that's entirely dependent on the <laughs> on the wind. It's only like this here because well, game. Let's see, any tips in here, in the guides? Uh, uh, vent the hydrogen or adopt ballast. Doing one of these two acts will uh, you turn in the direction. Once you figure it out to use, look for nomad camps. Okay. And you fly past one. There. 
Okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Stay here. Regard the balloon. Just have to ask for directions. This <laughs> zooming along the the sand. Hello there. Salam, Bendy. Uh, let's see. What do you make of this map? Hmm. This X is to the south. And to the east. Okay, Thanks southeast. Okay. Get out of here. Okay, so we use the nomad camps to narrow down where we need to be. And well, we go that way. Okay, gain some heights and get going. Okay. Okay, a slower version of the main theme. Okay, down and through the east. And let's see. Nomad camp there, nomad camp there. Okay. Let's try asking for directions here. Hmm. Okay, a little bit annoying that you can only change directions by these two, but then again... Uh, is... <laughs> yeah, I guess they could have put a, a fan on this thing for control. Okay. Probably too low down, yep. Okay, so we kind of need to... Uh, the balloon. We need to kind of come in below an area we want to land, or to its left. Okay, just down. Basically, we want to spiral around like this. So... There, and the next one. There we go. That's close enough. Okay. Stay here and guard the balloon. Okay. Ask for directions. Hello there. Salam, Fendi. Okay. Have you seen anyone digging around here? Well, I have seen foreigners with trucks and equipment. Trucks, equipment? Where? It's hard to remember. The desert all looks the same, you know? <laughs> yeah, they kind of know. What do you make of this map? Hmm. You are very close to the site. This X is a little to the south. And slightly to the east. Thanks for the information. Okay, so... Hmm. It could, it could be right outside the camp here. Hmm. Or does it mean we need to go another few screens? Oh. Wait. This is... He said east, right? Not west? Hmm. Yeah, no, um... Honestly, plunging from the... the middle of this uh, map. Well, I guess we found them. And they found us. Yep. <laughs> Ow, I've seen better landings. Him too. What the okay. heck? Well, we know uh, we're nearby at least. Okay, let me put in a save because I very much get the feeling that we're going to run into points where we can die now. Let's see. I die within minutes in that hellish waste. Forget it. Okay. Now, dig site this way. Okay, that probably that will probably have drawn some attention. Look what we found, an abandoned dig site. Uh, I guess Wait, if we killed going? the only one who landed and was here, it, it counts as the end. I should have guessed. Indy! Hold on, <laughs> Sophia. Indy! Sophia! 
Uh oh. <laughs> okay, that that uh -oh. just looked silly. It lo <laughs> it, it it did indeed. I can't see in. There's a table blocking the way. Oh, then pull the damn table out of the way. Oh. I don't think that'll work. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have. Okay, I saw something. Gas tank. Okay. That's where the gas is. Hmm. The engine's missing a spark plug and a distributor cap. Okay, I'm guessing this is our way out of here. But for now... Okay, so yeah. they apparently the stuff, but they left many things useless. Yeah, and apparently one useless soldier. Yeah, no, might be that... It could also be they left the truck because they did not have time to repair it. Yeah. But uh, who was let's... abandoned? Why have one god? It feels like a portable generator. Okay. Long tubular thing. It's either a hose or a sleeping snake. <laughs> I hope it's a hose. <laughs> and of course it gets renamed the sleeping snake. Clay thing. I can see like a, clay a little bit. Let's see. I think I think in these eyes are adjusting to the dark. I think so too. And thus ours is as well. Let's see. It feels like a wall. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it seems to very, very slowly be uh, adjusting. It feels like a clay jar. Hmm. There's another wall here. This feels like a wall. In fact, the wall has a face. And that looks to be all we can really find here. It feels like a portable generator. Okay, so we can get some gas out of that. We can turn on the lights here, hopefully. Okay, but we'll need to siphon the gas out of the tank, out of the car then. The tents are empty. The whole place looks abandoned. Hmm. Must have found what they were looking for then. But at least it means we're just one step behind, not a dozen. It looks what so... Is... I can understand and it can't be abandoned due to something happened. They made them leave in a rush. Nope. But if they found what they wanted, then you feel like they would, you know, pack things up. So let's be honest. I can't move it. There's a lot of m things of value here. I can't move it. Mm hmm. Of decent value, but n stuff that need that takes time to pack up. The tents are empty. The whole place looks abandoned. Okay. Yeah. It, Actually, you know what? You feel like, okay, they put, they left the tents empty. But why did they leave the tents behind? Hmm. Would have been a pain in the ass to uh, pack it up. Let's see, can we... Easy oh, you're saying this isn't a snake. Okay, so we've got a hose. A... It feels like a sharp stick of wood. Okay, not sure that was there before. Let's see, it's a ship rib. What's that doing here out in the desert? Let's see, can we pick up the clay jar? Yes, we can. Okay, so now we have everything. Oh, blonde wood. It feels like a wooden peg. Okay. Well, uh... it is. Oh, wait, wait, where, where are we again? We are in Algiers, so in Africa, I yeah, believe. But what, what part? Is it, is it near Sahara or...? Well, probably adjacent at the very least as well. Deserts, but deserts are very yeah. common in Africa. 
Okay. Here's the thing. Sahara has been a sw giant swamp seabed, but it has also been a massive grassland. Okay. Hose with gas tank. And for that to be a massive grassland, there has to have been some water. Clay jar with the end of the hose. That's enough. The jar is full. Okay, then we go down, build a generator from the jar. And then we'll be able to see what the hell is down there. And uh, hopefully find Sophia. Okay. Use there. Oh. I don't think that'll do any good. Let's see. It feels like a gas cap. Okay. Uh, use this with the Actually, probably better to do this the other way around. Let's see, where is the gas cap? Nothing's happening. Maybe it's out of gas. Uh, gas cap. I better open it first. Yep. Now it's open. Okay, at least he automatically does it. Okay. Uh feels like an on off switch feels like an on off switch mm. there we go okay that's a lot more detail what have we here it's a painting of a chest or ark i've seen that before <laughs> yes you have <laughs> The last time you did, uh, a Nazi's face melted off. Yep, and apparently there is a Twi'lek version of it in Star Wars that has been referenced, <laughs> at least in background. Rock wall. It's... I can't move it. Okay, and we don't have much more than this. Let's see, nothing else that we can mess with? I'm pretty. I'm going to take a guess that we'll need to break this down. Let's see. Let's move our inventory up again. Ship rib. Nope. Oh. There's a mural behind this crumbling rock. <laughs> okay, just poke at it with a stick. It's a map of the island of Crete with a hole in the middle. Hmm, didn't I read about that in the lost dialogue? Uh, let's see. Island of Crete. Uh, da, da, da. sunstone greater. Uh, world stone is needed. Arabic text, Italian monastery. Mm -hmm. Minted coins, or a calcum. Let's see. Okay, if it is if it is in there, I very obviously missed it. But let's try this. It's okay. the wooden peg inserted into the hole in the map. Okay. Wait, do we ne wait? Do we use this then? Let's see. Hmm. Okay, that was a complete guess. I thought you were going to leave me in there. Believe me, I was tempted. <laughs> Lucky you didn't. Here's something we may need. A distributor cap. It fell on my head when I sank into the hole. And that's not all. Look! What is it? It's an amber fish on a string. I can uh... see that. What does it do? How should I know? I suppose you've come up with something more interesting. Maybe. Look where the sunstone is centered on the mural. The island of Crete. I'll bet Crete is where we'll find a greater colony of Atlantis, Plato mentioned. That sounds possible. Let's go. 
Okay, first off, of course, take this thing with. Can we take the peg with? Yes, we actually can. Hmm. Can we actually explore into that room some? Yeah, I was just to ask. You shouldn't we explore that? And also, you're just gonna go fix something? Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, we can actually move in, but Sophia's. Okay. <laughs> Sophia already found all there is to find. Okay. Oh, pick up these again. Anything we don't need, we'll probably uh, drop off as we move to the next area. Okay, let's just hope that we didn't siphon off too much uh, <laughs> fuel. Okay. So then we use the distributor cap with the engine. Pull out the hose. <clears throat> it fits. Okay. Pick up the hose. Okay. There's a spark plug missing. A uh, spark plug still. Hmm. It's a weird amber fish on a string. Where are we going to find a spark plug here? There's a plug missing. Hmm. Did the plug land on her head? No, it's just a distributor cap. Oh. I very much doubt... I don't think that'll work. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> It's pointing at Sophia's necklace. It must be detecting the orcalcum residue. Okay, so it's a detector of sorts. Wait, only cat. Do you remember the cat said what happened when it connected all the calcum to all the machines? Yeah, it powered them. So if we can find a bit of orcalcum here. Yeah, just be careful for it. The... Some of the machines were obviously not designed for that. I um, went quite haywire. Yeah. It's pointing at Sophia's necklace. Okay, maybe it, maybe it's best you sit this one Sorry, out a bit, Sophia. Sophia. Let's not waste time talking, Indy. We have to get to Crete. Okay, but as long as you're sticking around, I can't find any Gower Calcum to use as a spark plug. Then again, last... would that even work? It's pointing at Sophia's necklace. Yes. It's only going to be doing that, I think, as long as Sophia Unless... is nearby. She's interfering with the signals. Wait, uh, could you ask to borrow her or the calcium? Hmm, yes. She used up the last that she had. Just that it's uh, reacting to residue. Uh, wait. If you react to residue, then you might react more to an actual or calcium. Hmm. So as, long as, Sophia, as, long, as long as Sophia is nearby, it's going to point towards her, unless we find an actual bigger stash of it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, if we find an actual bead. It's pointing at Sophia's necklace. Hmm. We can't use it with things to see if there is anything nearby, so let me take a little peek here. Uh, metal cap, gas cap, crumbling room. Oh, don't forget to take back the sunstone. Also, the peg. Oh, yeah, of course, I'm being an idiot. <clears throat> what also needs a spark uh, plug to get started? Your alarm clock? No. Generator. Motor bike? Wait, what? Generators need spark plugs. Oh. It's a generator. I don't know how generators work. <laughs> I better turn the generator off first. <laughs> it's an on off button. Button. Okay, ceramic thing. It's too heavy to pick up. Okay, there we go. Say, Sophia. Let's not waste time talking, Indy. We have to get to Crete. 
Okay, I was kind of hoping it, that he would uh, use the touch on her and... <laughs> oh well. You hoped she would uh, slap a punch him. Yep. Okay. So now we have all we need to get this thing running. Uh, yeah, putting Oric Helcom in this thing probably would have made it explode. You know, a perfect fit. Okay. Now, close that up. And that doesn't seem to work. Nope, not the hoods. Use truck. Let's book passage to Crete, Sophia. Okay, and we... Oh, that... Crete. Oh, yeah, it, it's definitely close to Sahara. Yeah. Okay. I probably should have looked at the, the boat stuff while we were there, but, uh, well... Listen. What? Why are we here? Crete can't possibly be Atlantis. Remember the map of Crete in that African dig site and how the lost dialogue described using the stones? We must have found the greater colony. Okay. Do you think the Nazis have been here? I don't know, but we should be careful. Something tells me they're not far away. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they've got people uh Let's look around. Looking around okay. for keep uh, keeping an eye on uh in the at airports and such. Yeah, so. like, they didn't find the stone with the island on it, but it was still hidden. But it doesn't mean they... They could still have people around here for other reasons. If they spot him here, they... They may put one and one uh, together. Yeah. It's just about the same size as the stone discs. Okay. Sandstone. Pedestal. Okay. Well, that didn't do anything. Hmm. Let's have a look. Uh, let's see. Greater colony. Moonstone was needed with pale dawn. Okay, Moon so that's the, yeah, that's the tip to uh, for which needs to be uh, pressed. Hey, no, no, this is the sunstone. Let's... You need the moonstone. Let's still give this a try. That still didn't do anything. Hmm. It's... Maybe I need more than one stone. Okay. Hmm. How would we get our hands on another stone? Let's... Anything else around here to interact with? I very much doubt it will just find one lying around. Okay, it continues over here. Hmm. There's the option to split up with Sophia. Oh, hello, this looks interesting. But that might be a bad idea. On the other hand, it would ensure that not the both uh, not both of them would get caught. It's a pile of rubble. So it's about equivalent to your relationship with Sophia, Indy. Let's see. There's another place there. Let's see. Can we get to these doors? It doesn't say entrance, so we'll have to see. Hmm. And I'm gonna start making food in the air fryer, so... Um... Okay, we need to transition down to here first. Let's see, nothing here either. It's a pile of rubble. Don't tell me there's going to be something underneath one of these. Hmm. All they're holding now is air. Nothing in there except dust. There's going to be something in one of these chambers, I'm pretty sure. Uh, 
Nothing in there except dust. There's these sim there's those drawings on the wall. They might be symbolizing something. It's a pile of rubble. Tall like horns. Centerpiece. Let's see. Hmm. There's probably a puzzle coming up that's involving these uh, drawings. So hello. It's an ancient diagram of some kind. There's a bull's head, horns, and tail. The lines appear to converge on that circle. Could the circle be one of the stone discs? And we have okay. found the horns. Then we need a tail and a head. And drawing lines from those will show where will show where the item is or why the stone disc is likely buried. Hmm. Nothing here. Yeah, I think Indy isn't going to be looking under rubble until we have any indication uh, of wait. where it might actually be. Try to use the fish. It's an oracalcum detector. It's pointing at Sophia's necklace. Damn it. Uh, so yeah, that Sophia is the only source of uh, oracalcum around, or not really source, the only uh, the only thing with traces. It's a surveyor's transit, useful for measuring angles and laying out straight lines. Let's see. We can go up here. Nothing here. All they're holding now is air. Okay, we're going to need to use this to put two and two together, I'm pretty sure. Can we even get up there? Hmm. How t Actually, I think I know how we get there. We'll have to go all the way back. And then use the... Uh, <clears throat> Use the other path, the one with the the rope bridge here. Okay. Let's see. Still nothing on any of these places. Um, wait. Is we yes, hidden here? I already checked. Oh. Okay. Transition back out of this place because the moment wait. we pass through there, it takes a moment to load. There we Can go. Can we use the bridge? To get across to the uh, surveyor kit? I presume so, yeah? Yeah, more sense. We can get high up. We get, we, we see the horn, we already found it. But it can help us uh, to uh, survey the area, hopefully. Yeah, we, we know the centerpiece. We just need to find where the tail and the head are. And I didn't see any of those in any of the chambers. Okay. Just keep on walking. It's a surveyor's transit, useful for measuring angles and laying out straight lines. Uh. Okay, why? Oh, that'll work. Oh, but we picked it up. <laughs> that works. Wait. Hmm. Let's bring it to the horn. Let's see. Maybe there is something we're missing at the moment that can only be seen if we use the, uh, the what's it called again? The transits. Okay. People have been busy with one of those, or a modern version of those, in the area again. So I think there's a bit of a survey going on. I think I know where we might need to place this thing. Let's see. Can we use that with the stones here? I can't level it on these stones. Okay, so we need to find a level spot. Can we use it with 
I need a spot to set the thing up. Wait, hmm. you, there's some there oh, stones wait. there look leveled. I think I know where we need to set them up. It's up on the roof over here. I would so see. Let me check in here. There's another stone uh, flooring lo uh, lower down that looks like would lead you to look right at the horns. It's use transits with. There. Hmm. I can't level it on these stones. Ah, come on. Let's see. Here? Hmm. Yeah, once one of these uh, actually not, apparently. I can't okay. level it on these stones. Hmm. It's a surveyor's transit. I don't think that'll work. Okay, let me do another little check here. Ruins to the turn. Yeah, really? Uh, da, da, da. In surveys instrument, pick it up, head back. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, bull's horn, bull's head, bull's tail, two lines to the thumb. Okay, push around piles of stones. Okay. There's a statue here. Two. Bull's head statue. Okay. So we need to go, well, pushing around a bunch of rocks. Seeing what we find. So that's one of the points. They won't move. Okay, I'm guessing there's another bit of randomization here. They won't move. Depending on which ones, well, will move and which won't. Hmm. If the tail is under there, then it would be somewhere around here or something. They won't move. Hmm. Push these. They won't move. Hmm. Okay, I'm presuming mm. it's going to be inside one of the homes or such. Wait. Uh, let's take a double check at the mural. Mm. Can't move it. Hmm. I can't move it. Okay, so those are all too big. Let's see. Am I overlooking any rocks here? Hmm. Can I put it on the bull's head, maybe? Yes, I can. Excuse me. What? Here we are in the ruins of Gnosis. Hang on a minute. Mm. Nurab Saf speaks. He tells me that in his travels he has walked this ground and bids us find the underworld passage to his ancestral home. How do you do it? Radio? Signals from the fillings in your teeth? <laughs> Still the wise guy. You'll learn. Hmm. Let's look around. Okay. Yeah, let's not s split up, because we know how that typically goes with Scooby-Doo and such. <laughs> At least one party is going to get jumped in, and it's typically Shaggy and Scooby. Yeah, it... It's... If it's rare, like, the, the times with splitting it works, it usually works when you're in much larger groups. Hmm. But uh, if, if your group is too small that you can only do two and two, then it's probably not a good idea. And again, depending on your situation. They won't move. Yes, let me check again. Once you discover the bull's head, place the instrument and use it. Okay. 
use the transit. Okay. This turns it. Okay. It's okay. This is in smaller increments. Let's see. Mm -hmm. The left side of the horns. Okay. Okay. That is next to two pillars. Uh, wait, is that? Wait, if it was to the left side, it's would it be up somewhere there. Hmm. I can't move it. Yeah. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Align the suit with the left side. Once you discover the bull's Wait. tail, place the Zoraeus on it and use it. With the right horn, the two lines that Indy traced. What's traced? Oh, oh wait. Let I me mean, guess, I did it wrong. I need to... I need to not have it go past it. I need to aim it at it. There. I see dirt. No. Oh, I was looking at the completely wrong direction. I see the left horn. Okay. And we need to find a tail somewhere. Yeah, I've already hey, pushed every batch of rocks. Or can we go up here? There's stairs. Hmm. Okay, we can't actually progress further that way. So is okay. it um, along uh, those rubbles in the over there? It's it specifically needs to be stones that need to be pushed over or something. So we need to we need to find a tail. They won't move. Hmm. They won't move. Anything this way? Okay, India's not crossing that gap. Hmm. I can't move it. Let's see. Da -da -da. Push around piles of stone. Try and find the bull's head and the tail. Hmm. 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 Okay, but it's... Hmm. I'm gonna check on my food. BRB. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've hit every pile of stones here already. Be right back and watch out for the Atlantean Minotaur. Let's see. Push. If we try to push uh, Sophia, she's probably going to kick her ass. If there's an entrance here. Okay. Hmm. Try this pile again. They won't move. These? They won't move. Hmm. Maybe we need to pick this up again before we can do this. That would be dumb that it wouldn't allow us to push the, their stones. Well, that's already deployed. Hmm. They won't move. Let's see. It has to be somewhere around here. Try this one again. They won't move. Hmm. 
Am I just missing just a single pixel or something of rocks? Hmm. They won't move. There's plenty of stones around here, but they're non-interactable. Hmm. It's a pile of rubble. They won't move. We really have they to push. It. It's not the rubble. It's, it specifically says stones here. And we're out of stones to push. Am I just completely missing something? It's tall horns. Hmm. Let's see. Back outside, push around piles of stones. But we've hit every pile of stone there is. Hmm. And you're welcome back. Thank you. And it, it it did point in one direction. Yeah, but we need a second line to cross over with it. Hmm. Wait, does that mean we need to pick up the thing again and move it back into another location or something? I already picked it up. We need to find oh. the we need to find the tail. But it's supposed to be buried under one of these piles of stones, but we've hit every single pile of stones there is here. So, yeah, unless the game is glitched, I'm very clearly missing something. Hmm. Let me, let me just do a Google on this, because it feels like something has gone wrong. Let's see. Fate of... It. Atlantis Bulls Tail mm -hmm. Slakinosos Let's see. Search for the rebel looking for the bull's head and bull's tail. I found a head, but I've gone through the other rebel and can't find the tail. Uh, this is tail. Let's see. Unable to push any of the rubble hotspots. The same thing happens if I click look at them and then push. Um. <laughs> Fence near the bull horns. Yep. Okay, so I really did just miss a pile, uh, miss one pile. There's a statue here. Okay. Okay, yeah, I can see now. I was pointing. Why were you looking there? For remember the when the bull had been there, so the tail would not be past the horn. Yep. <laughs> Sophia waving. But now you notice the waving. I see a wall. She went earlier. Okay, line that up. I see the right horn. Check. No, what's this? Okay. Yeah, th th this fits the mural more. Yeah, you you were definitely translating it earlier a bit wrong. Down here. It's got a hole in the middle and little moons carved into the surface. It must be one of the moonstones Plato wrote about. Walk to X mark the spot. Yep. Okay. All right, and all the way back, and then we put these stones in there. This one is actually smaller than the other one. So it probably goes on top. It, you're cheap by its size now. Hmm. Okay. We'll probably find some use of this dumb little thing eventually. Okay, come on. There, path away from the ruins. 
Okay. Hmm. All right then. Let me put this here. It doesn't seem to fit properly. Okay, that one first. Then this one. Okay. Let's see. That still didn't do anything. Yes, yes. Uh, ta -ta -ta, when it's a moonstone is also needed with pale dawn to shred the darkest night. Pale dawn, darkest night. So dawn and full moon. Okay. Uh, let's see. Or actually, new moon would be complete darkness, I think. So rising sun. That still didn't do anything. Yeah, but I, pale no, dawn. Bro. Would make sense from being at the full moon. There we go. It turns only one way. That still didn't do anything. Hmm. That still didn't do anything. Okay. Wait, what? With pale dawn to shred the darkest nights. So it should be dawn. Rising sun, setting sun, darkness. Hmm. That still didn't do anything. Okay. That still didn't do anything. Wait, uh, l l let's see. That still let didn't do anything. Let's see what each uh, one is called. Yeah, rising sun, so dawn. That should be correct. Full moon. That still didn't do anything. And what's the other one moon called there? Hmm. <laughs> pale, you know, pale dawn. This right, the darkest night. Hmm. <laughs> darkness concealed the, do er, the tall horns. Hmm. That still didn't do anything. That still didn't do anything. Okay, I'm, I'm not getting it then. Let, let's check. Uh, look for the past to speak of the greater colony and the moonstone. They give you a hint on how to align the sunstone and the moonstone. Search soon. Okay, so that could be ra somewhat randomized as well, but. Wind moon, vaccine moon. And the one currently on top Wait, is... Still didn't do yeah, Pale Dawn, Darkest Nights. Okay. I'm not getting it then. Darkest Nights. New Moon and It should be Rising moon. Sun then. Hmm. That still didn't do anything. That still didn't do anything. Okay, I... I must just absolutely not be getting something here, because it clearly says Pale Dawn, so that must mean Dawn, Rising Sun, and Strand Darkest Nights. And Darkest Nights should be when there is a new moon, I believe, because then the least amount is shown. Or... Hmm. That still didn't do any. <laughs> no other way than that to just randomly go through each and every one of these. That still didn't do anything. That still didn't do. That still didn't do it. Brute force this stupid thing then. That still didn't do anything. That still didn't do anything. Shut up, Jones. That still didn't do anything. There we go. What do you know? A secret door. Okay, what was it set to here? Darkness and waning moon. Yeah, I was wondering, what do you mean with Pale Dawn? Oh, 
pale dawn, the first showing up. Wait, no. Uh, wait, what's the diff? Okay, th this is when the first bit of the moon is visible. This is when the last bit is visible. Okay, so the, fu <laughs> the fuckers inversed it. That still didn't do anything. Uh, shut up, Jones. Okay, <laughs> pick these up. <laughs> Don't take your anger out on Jones. Okay. So, the legend of a labyrinth hidden under the ruins of Gnosis is true. The legend of Atlantis isn't any more far-fetched. Maybe it's true, too. I think the last stone disc and Atlantis are waiting for us somewhere beyond that door. Okay. Um, when I said, watch out for Atlantean Minotaur, I was joking. Well, we'll have to see if there actually is one, then. Apollo. Okay. It's a Do bust I, of Ares. Did, did I accidentally remember part of this without realizing? <laughs> okay, Apollo, Ares, Zeus, and there's a groove behind it. It's a shelf for the busts. Hmm. Uh, Anything new? Sophia. Yes? If... I forget, do stalagmites go up or down? Hmm. Up, I think. Okay. <laughs> Some date, huh? We are not dating, Jones. This is not a date. If it was a date, I would have stood you up. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> Lead the way. Okay. Let's see. Look at statue heads. If only I could reach it from here. Hmm. This is going to be a labyrinth, yes? Let's see, I'm not seeing any hints. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, hello. It's a marble shelf. Okay, a crown. Wait, we're going to have to carry around those heads, aren't we? Let's see, can we use the same way to get back? Yes, we can. Okay, nice that it's not just sending you to random rooms. Okay. Oop. Okay, so at least one needs to be here. Okay. So... Let's see. It's which of Zeus. Let's use this one here for the moment. And I think the one with the crown is probably going to be Zeus, either that or Poseidon. Hmm. So if we Wait. bring the bust oh. of Zeus yeah. over, these prob these things probably have a specific weight each. Ooh. Or do we just need a certain amount of these? Hmm. Let's see. Pick up the Zeus heads. No. Okay. Let's leave this one behind here for a moment. Hmm. Are there any other statues we can find around here? It looks a bit wobbly. Okay, can we poke it? I don't it? think that'll work. No. Okay, and we've got some water damage here. Ooh. Uh. Hmm. Okay, that is very clearly going to be a trap of some sort. Looks like another unlucky explorer. Can we pick up? I don't need any old bones. Bones of previous explorers, no doubt. Hmm. Dead end? Um, okay. hold on. Look at the bones. Yeah, very old. Down to the bones. That, but had I just starred? We've been seeing the rest of the skeleton in more certain manner, but this looked a bit... Uh, like something had 
move it around. It's too slippery to climb up here. Hmm. D don't tell me there is actually a Minotaur here. I was only yoking earlier <laughs> for crying out loud. Oh, oh broken column. It's just a chunk of crumbling masonry. Let's see. I can't pick that up. Hmm. Bones of previous explorers, no doubt. Can we turn this over? Work. We need a wait to hold down the entrance, uh, to hold open the entrance door. Hmm. And I very much think that if we ask Sophia to sit on the shelf, that she'll uh, insult us. Hmm. Wait, can we? No, there's nothing to stick that in there. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's not that we need a specific weight on these, it's just that we need well, any weight to hold it down. Can we use these stones to... It's not heavy enough. Okay. Hmm. Broken column. It's just a chunk of crumbling masonry. Can we use that? I've got a bit of an idea. Let's see if I can find the other ones. If we can, if we can, yeah, if we can bring the shelf all the way down, can we push the broken column on top of it to keep it down? Hmm. That could work. If you are Is lucky. Because it, it does look like we'll need all three of these. So hold it down. Let's double check these other rooms. Okay, this is just the other side here. Hmm. I'm a bit surprised we haven't used the, the whip to swing across something yet. Probably will later, because it's basically a con contractual obligation in these games. <laughs> okay. It's there and there. And, okay, it's not it's not low enough to be pushed onto I can't it. Move it. Hmm. And what? Uh, Sophia. Yes. What do we do now? Let's see where this leads. Yeah, we've seen where it leads. Okay. Follow me. Lead the way. Let's see a tip. Uh, da, 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 pick up two of the statues. <laughs> oh, <laughs> smart ass. Okay. Okay, there and there. I was halfway onto something here. There's you a reason we can see the it, we can see the next one. It, you were using the wrong head, weren't you? Stay away from the door. Nope. Uh And now we're stuck. Uh, really? Yep. <laughs> I, I thought he was more going to wrap it around it and yank it over, but that, that works even though the physics shouldn't. Okay. Yeah, now we have no way to go but forwards. There. There and there. All right. Now, where is this going to lead? Oh, really? LucasArts symbol? Hmm. Oh, hello? Is it whistling? There's a small cleft here. Hmm. I don't think that'll work. I doubt the sunstones will. Work. Okay, we need something to put in there, and we've got symbols of the Minotaur here. Come on, Jones. Uh, where do I click to get out? Yep, the actual door. <laughs> Me being dumb. 
What else is new? Okay, what's this way? More bones. Another passage. Ooh. Let's see. What it's is that? It's a wedge that keeps the counterweight from sinking. Okay. It's a shaft plunging into the darkness. Hmm. Do we use the whip to try and pull that out? Oh, yep, we do. Well, that didn't do anything. Yep. It's used the thing with the whip, dumbass. Okay. That didn't do anything. Hmm. I can't reach it. Let's see, we need some way to get across then. Listen. Yes. Do you think we're lost? Who knows? I'm too lost to think. Follow me. Hmm. Lead the way. It's Not a even gonna plunging into the darkness. Bull is symbol over the door. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. It's pointing at Sophia's necklace. Okay, so still no Urakalcum nearby. It's pretty smart that they made these out of just stone. Probably still has more special stone than normal stone. Uh, but if it was made out of Urakalcum, it, yeah, it, it probably would have done... <clears throat> it probably would have been used up as a resource sooner or later. See, another broken column. It's just a chunk of crumbling masonry. And why is there such an interest in these things? I said, there's, you're, not re you're really not going to react to the... Oh, hello, stone shaft. It's a shaft rising into the darkness. Oh, wait, is this... Is this below? It's a shaft rising Might into the be. darkness. Hmm. I was used to say that, but I was showing food. <laughs> I don't think that'll work. Hmm. Wait. I got an idea. But you're not gonna like it. For I think I know what the statues are told right to tell us. What then? Bull rush the pillar. <laughs> hmm. I mean, Let's damn see. if I'm Let's... right. If the weight is up there, then this should rise up once uh, the the way is loose. So how do we... Actually, probably better to just poke at it with a stick again. Let's try oh, it so out. Oh, an elevator. Yep. Because that's what counterweights are used for. Of taken? that size, at least. Hmm. That all lift very big doors. Let's see, poke it with it's a stick. Not long enough. Okay. Let's see. Guide for a tip. Uh, okay, we need to go back a bit, it seems. Because we missed something. Okay, back through the door. Because there was that statue with the loose head still. And the pressure plate yeah. in front of it. Okay, and it's out of reach, but it's not out of range. Get behind me, Sophia. Uh oh. Okay. Now that should be enough weight. Sophia, get over here. Oh! What's going on, Indy? It must be a primitive elevator of some sort. Okay, hello, you're a lot more modern looking. And, yeah, he, and he, his boat is dis not disturbed. The elevator. Yeah, well, this is our floor. Okay, the moment we get off, this probably is going to move up. Oh, oh wait, that was our ride. <laughs> it's our old friend, Professor Sternhardt. Looks like he's starved to death. How awful. I guess he knew a lot more than he let on. But not quite enough, apparently. Yeah, we'll starve too if we don't find a way out of here. Hmm. How Wait. did he how did he get in here? 
Wait, ain't the stone not the one in the South America we found? A met? Yeah, this is the one in the from the pyramids. Wait, Let's hold on, see. hold on. Look at his condition. Yeah, it looks like he has been uh, here quite a bit. It says. Yeah, I am but... convinced the map room lies beyond the next chamber. Alas, I cannot get past the gate. I need that autocalcum detector. Too bad for Sternhardt. He came a long way. Hmm. And we oh, hello. Had a, we had a detector, but this is the world stone that Sternhardt swiped in Tikal. Oh, oh. Okay, now th this confirms this confirms from uh, from what I thought in the previous stream. Did you notice that there were circles below here? He had he had another sun and moon stone. Ah. That the elevator crushed him. The elevator crushed at least one stone disc. Okay. Well, that means we have a full set and a or a calcum detector. Let's see. Okay, and also, this is the thing. Doesn't it, doesn't it take months before your only bones? It's yeah. Sophia's necklace. Especially when there's nothing to eat it, unless there is something else down here. So if there was something else down here, I think the clothes would have been gone too. Let's see. So, I'm trying to give the credit, remember it's an ga old game. Do they have been very clever with many things. So it's hard to know when they done a just Casual oversight or not. Okay, I'm not seeing what we can do here. It's just the gate. It's a heavy bronze gate. Okay. Sophia? Sophia. Yes? <laughs> you look great in this light. What's that supposed to mean? It's almost <laughs> pitch dark. Oh, yeah. Oh, come, uh, come on, on Jones. Okay, so looking at the guides. So take back the world stone. Da, da, da. Oh. Let's see. Yeah. Look at waterfall. It, I keep missing these obvious oh, nice. bits. Wait, there's a chain running up behind the waterfall. It must be holding the elevator's counterweight. Okay, that means that the counterweight must be below us. Uh, let's see. Hold on, Jones. Where do you think you're going? I'm climbing this chain. You'd better come back. Trust me. <laughs> okay, I thought they were going. I, I thought they were putting him behind the waterfall so they wouldn't have to animate it. <sighs> uh, ouch. <laughs> I hate getting wet. Okay, then. Hmm. How do we get this open, then? Actually, we again. yeah, we can just get on. Get Sophia onto the elevator, push the head off, and then we climb... Then the elevator with Sophia will go up, and we can climb the chain again. Uh, Sophia. Yes? <laughs> Follow me. Lead the way. Okay. Push the statue heads. It's too heavy. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, are you feeling alright, uh, Captain? I don't think that'll work. Let's see, we need to get this thing off, I think. I don't think that'll work. If off it's the elevator. Heavy. Hmm. The Let's see. Bend the stick. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can't do anything here for a bit. And there it goes again. We need to. <clears throat> we need to climb out. Then go mess with the counterweights. Hmm. Where's the chains for this uh, hidden then, though? 
Is it in the sides there or something? Like it runs. Oh, that water's cold. I'm guessing the chain runs through here, and then just down the uh, side bits. Going down. Uh, damn it. <laughs> okay. Hello again, Sophia. Yes, I am just riding this thing because it's just fun. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah, we have no idea when Sternhearts popped up here. Wait here. But yeah. Mm hmm. It could have. It's. It's at the very least been a few weeks, probably. Yeah. I guess they're just gonna get, put that rotting corpse there. Yeah. Due to be a bit too graphic, perhaps. Yeah. Okay. Need to find my way around the thing so we don't go down a fourth time. Okay, this way. Ugh. Okay, stomach act. Ugh. Stomach starting to act up. We are almost at the two hour mark, so we could take maybe take a bit of a break then. Depending on if it's needed. <clears throat> okay, this way to the counterweight, I think. Yeah, there it is. We have a much longer stick now. There, the counterweight is free. Okay. I thought it would immediately cause something to happen, but no. Um, <laughs> we have the counterweights. Okay. Now it says to go to the statue head room. Oh, wait, I, I see how it is already. Because the counterweight was stuck, it couldn't go down. So it couldn't, the elevator couldn't go up. But what exactly will cause it to activate here then? Hmm. There's a small cleft here. It's an aura calcum detector. Let's see. Do we need anything with this to? Oh, oh but just to suggest, maybe use this. Going up. The... What the heck? Use it as an oversized lever. Okay, that's now here. Okay, let's take a look at this. There are two more beads underneath it. I'll take them too. Okay, I, I thought you would just look at them. Let's see. It's an empty gold box with a lead lining. Lead lining. Okay. Hmm. That's going to be of the some importance. Now in the box. Okay. Close the box. Oh, hold on a sec. It's an aura calcum detector. It's not pointing anywhere. There must not be okay. any aura Okay. I see. Open the box. Why, it's pointing at me. Yeah, that... Okay, so that's how we can hide aura calcum. Hmm. Okay. We'll need that for something sooner or later. Hmm. So it could be that our enemies also have an Orichalcum detector. So... Hmm. We'll have to see how this goes. Also, was there anything underneath the elevator, perhaps? This also doesn't really tell us how we're going to... Uh, get Sophia out of the pit. Because that was not the counterweight for the elevator there. Yeah, I mean, mm. we need to get her up. Wait. He said he... Okay, let's get down there. He said he needed the old calcum detector when he was stuck down there. Yeah. And we have it. And we now have no Sophia to uh, interfere with the signal. Queen. <laughs> It's just a board. 
Give you the box? Nope. Okay. Actually, I'm not seeing any openings in the side here, so I'm guessing the chains. Yeah, there's. There seem to be grooves in the sides of that, so maybe the chain runs through there. Okay. Now, how do we actually open this? Hmm. I think. Nope. Oh. It's a narrow crawl space. Uh oh. I can't reach it. There's a pulley in there. Hmm. Can we get you to crawl through there? Yes. Let me boost you through that hole. I'm not climbing through there. I'll bet it's full of spiders or rats or snakes. <laughs> you probably wouldn't fit anyway. All right, boost me through the hole. You? <laughs> What's so darn funny? I couldn't boost you as far as I trust you, let alone up there. Uh, Sophia. Yes? Come on, climb onto my shoulders. I'd rather not. Would you rather starve? down here like Sternhardt. I'm not worried. You'll think of something. Listen. Yes? Come on, climb onto my shoulders. I'd rather not. You probably wouldn't fit anyway. Was that a crack about my weight? I just meant it's an awfully narrow passage. Are you saying I won't fit? Oh, come on. <laughs> this is a low blow. We'll both fit. Oh, we're really not going anywhere until I crawl through there, are we? Yep. Afraid not. Okay, boost me up. He go Watch those hands, Buster. <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's a pulley on this side. We'll use it. Okay, hang on. Happy? We're not out of the woods yet, but nice going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, another set, uh, yeah, another section of the labyrinth. So let's see what do we find here, and hopefully I'll be able to figure it out without um, needing to look through the guides too much. I swear, how do you not the torment of us Lucas Oz icon? I was mistaken for very weird eye. Let's see. Okay, you can just go behind. And okay, I thought we'd have to jump or something. And that brings us back here. Okay, so that's a loop. Or... Let's see. Or is this just a repeat room? No, it's not. Okay. Hmm. It's pointing at Sophia's necklace. Okay, so this, according to Sternhardt, or what he thought would be the case, there should be something around here. It's pointing at Sophia's necklace. And yeah, hopefully it'll give off a stronger signal than Sophia's necklace. Sophia's necklace. Okay, I do like that they have little animations for it pointing in basically every direction. Yeah, it looked like it pointed at the wall and not her for a moment. It's pointing at Sophia's necklace. Hmm. And this just heads back again, so I am missing something. Do we need to hide her necklace in the box? Hmm. Let me see. 
Uh, two more poor Calcum beads. Sternheart skeleton. Had to do move it back. Convince him to go into the hole. Uh, yep. All your poor Calcum beads into the box. Yep. Okay. And yeah, we need to get uh, her Sophia. amulet in the box. Can I borrow that necklace of yours for a while? Why? I think it's throwing off the aura calcum detector. So? So we need to hide it. You think so? Then say, Nurav Sal is a mighty king and his eyes see through. <laughs> Nurav Sal is a mighty king and his eyes see through. All right. I can't give you my necklace. But tell me your plan, and I'll try to help. Let's see. I want to put it in this gold box. Okay. Give me the box, and I'll put it inside. There we go. There. But just for a few minutes. Thanks. Okay. And now we can use this thing accurately. It's not pointing anywhere. Okay, so not here. You might as well go back <clears throat> this way. It's not pointing anywhere. Not here either. Is whatever we're going if we're, is whatever we're looking for going to be buried in the rock here or something? It's not pointing anywhere. It, it's gonna okay. be the Lucas Art symbol, ain't it? Probably. <laughs> A bit of self advertising. <laughs> It, it, it feels, it's only but it feels familiar. Hmm, it's pointing toward that blank wall in the back. Okay. Uh, that one did Seems look a bit suspicious. Poke, poke, well, poke. Well, well. What is that? Uh, uh, door? Okay. Oop. Look, an oracalcum bead. And that this makes three. The bead that attracted the oracalcum detector. Great. Now take the gold box. I want to wear my necklace again. <laughs> okay. Already in there, it seems. It's an empty gold box with a lead lining. Uh, oh, there they are. Okay. Might as well put the them back in. Is now in the box. Close it up. Okay. They're just some more bones. Okay, how many people tried to find their way through this place? On door move. Well, either Atlantis is a lot smaller than we <laughs> thought, or we've found some kind of map or scale model. Laid out just as Plato described it in three concentric circles. And you need three concentric circles to gain access. Okay. Use the Sunstone, the Moonstone, and then the Worldstone. And... Yeah, if Indiana Jones tropes are anything to go by, we're going to get ambushed here. See, that typically happens whenever he finds the solution to something big. Okay. Yeah. Let's have a look. Mm-hmm. Ten beads at a time. Okay. When the celestial spheres were well aligned. Let's see. Our strange device out of amber to search for the metal. That okay, so that's the detectors. Okay. Hmm. Let's see this one. Rising Sun, Knight's Grip, Fiery Peak. Okay, Rising Sun, so uh, Dawn. I, hmm? I remember something. Uh, can I go back to the last page? Uh, this one here? Uh, let's see. Okay, another page. The last one. Uh, wait. 
No, but I was one of the was was says the wise man of evil would first put men in the Colossus, making many freaks of nature at times when the celestial sphere were all alive. Many freak. Um. Okay, celestial spheres is likely the planets, but this is the code for this one here: rising sun, yeah. night's grip, fiery peak. I also thought it would be a good idea to look down for. That might hint that we might not be alone here after all. Yeah. Okay. Rising sun. Is that it? That didn't do anything. Yeah, here we go again with needing to try this. Okay, full moon then. That didn't do uh, anything. Rising sun, so that must be dawn. Night's grip, which should mean a new moon, since then the dark is at its fullest, I presume. And fiery peak is, is of course, the volcano on the last one. Let's see, we have volcano, east sea, west sea, and the city. So, volcano is correct, no other way around that. Hmm. Maybe the noon sun? That didn't do anything. That didn't do anything. Hmm. That didn't do anything. That didn't do That didn't do Okay. Time to brute force this again. That didn't do anything. The volcano has to be correct. It... Yep. That didn't do anything. Volcano. City. Yeah. It, it should be aligned up here, I'm pretty sure, unless... Wait, have I, have I had it the wrong way around the entire time? I would not be surprised. That didn't do anything. Is the mark up that didn't do any the mark up here that didn't do anything. Makes me think that that's where it needs to be pointed. Hmm. Wait, does it mention anything about horns? That didn't do anything. Let's see. It's nothing. <laughs> Tenfold error. Okay. Build wrong. Only with the aid of up. It may up concealed the tall horns. Also needed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, so it does need to be lined up with the horns, I think. But still... Let's see. Hmm. Full moon. That didn't do anything. That didn't do anything. Uh. That didn't do. At least we're down to 16 options with this. That didn't do. Any Since we know that the volcano is the correct one. That didn't do. That didn't do any. That didn't. And the only reason I'm doing this is because what seems to be that the do obvious. Uh, solution doesn't seem to be actually working. That didn't do anything. Okay. That didn't do anything. Hmm. Actually, is it the waning sun? Like, is it this one again? That didn't do anything. No. That didn't. That didn't. 
Also, why do we need to double click on these to get them to move? Are we going to get a stone with eight things into them something? Oh wait, that's the setting sun, not the... Not the rising sun. <laughs> that didn't do any. That didn't do any. <laughs> Line them according to the clues, but the I have aligned them to the clues, and it still did nothing. One that more time. Really... Okay, let's see here. Rising Sun, Night's Grip, Fiery Peak. Volcano, Dawn, and... Uh... Raking Night's Grip. New Moon should be it, because then there should be no moon at all. That didn't do anything. Hmm. That didn't do it. That didn't. Yep, clicked the wrong one. Ugh. That didn't do it. Yeah. Something is broken. It has to be because the very obvious thing is not working. Unless for some reason it is just needs to be aligned somewhere else instead of with the horns. Mm. Missing something else. That didn't. Let's see. Rising sun. Does it mean the full moon? Maybe. That didn't do anything. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, this one turns faster. Uh, new moon. Rising sun. That didn't do anything. Uh, wait. Look at the walls. It's a heavy stone door. Let's see. It's a heavy stone door. A moon, a sun, and it's a heavy something stone else, door. but it doesn't say what. Hmm. Rising sun, full moon, volcano. That or new moon should be the solution, but it is absolutely refusing to take it. That didn't do any. Yeah, this is weird. Like that didn't do any. So far, it feels like there's something. Like when they tried to do this game, they did not think properly through the night part. That didn't do. Or somehow that the book is just plain wrong. That didn't do any. <sighs> Start on the new moon again. That didn't do anything. Wait. No. That didn't do anything. No, it's not the dawn of the moon. Hmm. That didn't do anything. Uh, yeah, very clearly something is being conveyed wrong because the text very, very clearly says dawn, so rising sun, and then night at its fullest, so that's either the new moon or the full moon, and volcano. So, hmm. yeah, let's try this again. That didn't. Okay, then we turn this one twice. That didn't do. That didn't do it. 
That didn't do it. Then we turn this one twice. That didn't do any. That didn't. Like with the that earlier bits, it made sense. But here it is very clearly that didn't do just anything. not doing what it should. That didn't do it. Okay, turn this one again. Unless for some reason we need to that put we need to turn one of these bef in between. That didn't. That didn't. That didn't do. And we're back to new moon. So now the noon sun. That didn't do any. That didn't do. That didn't do. That didn't do any. That didn't do any. Shut up. I feel like I the YouTuber I've watched struggled with this one as well, but I forgot what the solution was. That didn't do it. I'm presuming it is somewhat randomized each time. <sighs> but I'm pretty sure we've anything. gone over every... all 16 uh, possibilities now already. That and it is just not working, so either... So something is just playing broke. That didn't do anything. Yes, yeah, the volcano this... needs to be there. That didn't do it. Or oh, is okay. there something else we need to do to make it work? Let's see. Uh... So, the guy who has said that, if that was the case. Let's see. Three stones. Okay. Mm hmm Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the last dialogue of Plato, there's a page from the three stones needed to enter the stone. Uh, sunstone, four symbols. Okay. Wait. All the moonstones alignments are based on the sunstone, so align the sunstone first before aligning the moonstone. The sentence always starts with... Okay... Oh, so you need to do a specific it's not, order? Didn't do anything. It's not that they need to be... they need to not... Uh, okay, this is just plain stupid. Or, okay. Also, I cannot see the game at the moment. Yeah, rising sun... Let's see. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Rising sun breaks night drip above a fiery peak. Or line the uh, volcano with the rise. Wait, does do we need to combine all the previous ones here? That didn't do anything. Let's see. Okay. Darkness conceals the horns. So, darkness. Um, hill? Hmm? I can't see. Yes, uh, I need that to keep this up to see it, to actually see it. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Pale dawn to shred the darkest night. Pale dawn, new moon with rising sun. Okay. There. Okay, and then with the volcano. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Volcano with rising sun as well. So this way. Okay. Okay, in one way that is smarter, but also you could have, this could have been explained better, I'd say. 
There we go. The heck? Okay. Uh oh, I better not lose yep. the stones. Yep. Pick those up. I should have thought about that, but I'm annoyed. Sophia, where are you? Uh, great. We've got her, you foolish Americana. Kerner, which rock did you crawl out from under? I have no time to trade insults. Hand over the stones or you'll never see Miss Hapgood again. Okay, we'll probably die if we do this one. Okay, take the stones. Just don't hurt Sophia. She'll be perfectly safe in my custody. Of course. <laughs> Kerner, what a slimy toad. Okay, uh, yeah, they had someone keeping an eye on us. These rocks look slightly loose. Okay, uh... Can we... Yep. You know, I think one of the rocks is starting to move. Uh -oh. nope. well, I you. Uh -oh. you must board the U boat. I'm not going anywhere. What have you done with Indy, you creep? Forget about Jones. How can you expect a man to lead you through Atlantis when he can't even find a way out of the labyrinth? And you're practically an Atlantis tour guide, I suppose? have charted an underwater entrance to the lost city. Together, we will discover its secret. Good luck. You have a choice, Fraulein. Join us and fulfill your life's ambition. Or join your friend, another rotting corpse on the road to glory. Well, how can I refuse hospitality like that? The symbol is really a, a face with gloves. <laughs> okay. Okay, I get I get the feeling if we tried to go back we would have found a way sealed. Hey, there's a Nazi U-boat. Okay. Hmm. Okay, but in one way that with the stones was more clever. But on the other hand, also f infuriating. Yeah, since you would really have th think about that at first. Okay. Also, let's put up a save. Okay, can we just walk over and try to get in? No, we can just walk over. Okay. Hmm. Looks nasty. Is this sealed? Uh oh. I'm the captain here, and I don't tolerate stowaways. The first story of runaway. <laughs> Are you sub captain or merely subhuman? <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's. Ugh. Uh, Sorry, wrong boat. Wrong or not, you're under arrest. Yep. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Looks like I'm captain now. Whoa, we're getting underway. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. I'm the captain now. <laughs> Oh, I even on. get this wrong, right? <laughs> we're just leaving them out to drown on the outside. <laughs> now that we wake up from the cold water. <laughs> now they, they likely float. Then again, Nazi, so uh, not really going to care. Okay, at least we stowed away on this thing. Just need to, well, probably club our way past a few dozen other idiots on board. Um, uh, you sure that a question what the captain is? 
Yeah, uh, Kroner probably, yes. Kroner probably took commands. Because let's be honest, egomaniacs like that are just going to uh, always take control wherever they can. Yeah. And that is why fascists will also not always fall into infighting, because they all want to be uh, the big, yeah, the biggest around. So the moment they can, they will un undercut the others. Or the moment that they think another is uh, too much of a threat. Is this supposed to be going like this? Uh, okay, this. <laughs> Let's see. What does this says, do? Flugel doofel. Okay. Uh. Good work, men. Carry on. Uh, <laughs> you really think they'll listen to someone talking in English? Okay. Overwrite this one. Let's see. Can we sneak around without getting gunned down? Whoops. Nope. I'm a dead man if I go down there while those Nazis are around. Okay, then whatever this is, it we're going to pull it. That won't work. Damn it. Uh, uh, can we actually just do this? Now hear this. All hands to the stern torpedo bay. Everyone to the ass, because you're all a bunch of assholes. Okay. The only one who didn't was that guy. Let's see. Anything in here? It's a pair of storage lockers. Okay. Uh, really? Plunger? Andy! Jones, where? Sorry. Must have been my imagination. Uh. <laughs> okay, are you going to call out What's every noise? I could have sworn I heard something. I didn't hear anything. Uh. Okay, so we make too much noise as we try to go down. Uh, let's see. Aft section is where we just sent them all, I'm pretty sure. Okay, and here are these two idiots. Hmm. The trap door is in the way. The trap door, okay. the trap door is yes. in the way. Close it. Let's see. Look at closets. I don't see special about it. Hmm. Okay. Torpedoes. Susie put a flag on the torpedo. Ugh. Let's see, I'm not seeing anything we can Wait, act on. I Wait. Those are torpedoes near the bunk beds. Yep, they're more for storage though, but still, uh, you would not want I to be around to. Nope. Relax, we are approaching civilizations that played with the forces of nature, the way we play with toys. Come, don't exaggerate. How else do you explain the wonders of Archicalcum or the stone discs? Hmm, what have you done with the stone? Calm down, they're right behind you in the captain's strong box. Oh, where was I? See, they're on the edge of infighting. Let's see, where is this strong box? Uh, right here. Look that strong to me. Hmm. Can we open it? Very unlike. And it's, it's worked into the wall. But I'm guessing we will be able to just tear this thing off. It's hmm. in like a design flaw. Unless it's meant for you in case there's something goes wrong with the strong box. I can't move it. Okay, we still have the freaking gum and the balloon ticket. I'm guessing we're just not getting rid of stuff we don't actually need anymore. Hmm. Okay. Close that up again. Okay. Let's see. Yep. I'm already there. <laughs> okay. 
that we might need to hide, I'm guessing. But for now... Uh, uh, your captain commands all hands to the bow. Okay, that should send them all over to the right, I'm guessing. So let's see if there's anything we can muck around with in the apt. Let's see. Some bread. I'll bet it's hard as a rock. I'll take a couple of slices. <laughs> okay. Porcelain mug. It's a porcelain beer stein. Yoink. Uh, no, not you. And Pick up. Hmm. Are those? What's the rest of the things hanging out of there? Pencil. Sausages or something? I got cold cuts. So, yeah. Cuts of meat. Don't mind if I do. I've got slices of bratwurst, bologna, and salami. Okay. Okay. Now, what do all of these do? It's labeled Ausgeschnitzel. I guess it makes sense for those of food that last long. Hmm. Oh, let's give it a go. That doesn't quite work. That doesn't quite work. Okay, so much for German engineering. Apparently it doesn't work. <laughs> really, Heidi? It's... It's a bundle of tangled wires. Can we tear those out? Myself? Hmm. Oh, trap door. Okay. Anything under here we can mess with? I just realized we're approaching the end of the game. Yep. Oh, battery assets. One and... of the batteries is leaking. That stuff hmm. looks pretty corrosive. Can we hey, catch that in the mug? Yes. Okay, the mug is full of acid. Hmm. Sophia. Indy? George can't save you now, madam. Uh, wait. I'm getting a message. A message from Nurab Sal. Nurab what? An old friend from Atlantis. His spirit is calling me. Can you get rid of the guard? Alas, Nurab Sal is weak and far away. Where are the stone discs? Uh, Nurab Sal refuses to share his secrets until he is released. <laughs> She's talking about herself. Oh. Tell Nurab Sal that I've got a plan. Nurab Sal is listening. Uh, Just distract the guard for a while, okay? Nurab Sal understands all. Wait, what? Darn, I've lost contact. Too bad. Okay. Hmm. I'm guessing we can use the acids to loosen up the strong box. But the moment we try sense. to grab that, it's going to cause all hell. Hmm. Unless they've distracted to notice. I think we've got all we need here. Maybe with some luck, some of these idiots will actually walk into their Excuse open trapdoor. What is it now? I was just wondering. Yes. It's a plumber's helper. I order you to finish your sentence. Well, you. Know. Who knows? It might come in handy. You think so? <laughs> the resemblance. Who are you? Talk fast, and I'd better like your tone of voice, or you're a dead man. <laughs> you bucket head. Uh... <laughs> Did Madame foretell that your future looks pale? No, now that you mention it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I feel a bit missed a joke there. 
<laughs> Early error. Yeah, maybe, but still. You know how to run this boat? Are you kidding, Jones? I'm a spiritualist, not a navigator. <laughs> really? What do we do now? Kerner claims there's an underwater entrance to Atlantis near here. Let's find it. Okay. Also, I know there. This thing is chained up, it seems. Any idea where Kerner put the stones? We're out of luck. He's got them in his quarters. We'll see about that. Let's see. Emergency rudder control. Wheel of some sort. Okay. That makes and... sense for it to be locked up. Now that didn't work. I really need a key. Okay, so we need a key from somewhere. Maybe Aren't that's uh I'll just stay here and make sure a sleeping beauty doesn't wake up. Okay. So we've got really hard breads, we've got some uh cold so <clears throat> some cold meat and a plunger. Uh it's a plumber's helper. Very much doubt this will. Mm. Let's see. That won't work. Hmm. It's probably more that it, he won't use it until something else is done. Uh, your captain commands all hands to the bow. Okay. That opens up that area again. You must be getting pretty tired by now of getting sent back and forth. Oh yeah, with some luck we might be able to finish the game today. Oop. I should have sent them the other way, but oh well. Let's see. Whoa, the acid's eating right through the metal. Here are the stone discs. There's a small key in here too. Okay, there we go. Okay, no need to tear the entire thing off. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Yeah, the bird, he was used it a bit more cleverly. Okay, and then we use the key with the emergency control. Now it's unlocked. Okay. It's a wheel. That doesn't quite work. Let's see. He's big and mean and out like a light. Okay, now we need to mess with things. Hey. Let's get those stones out of Kerner's quarters and locate the underwater entrance to Atlantis Kerner claims is near here. Okay. Because the way that they were just going left and right the entire time makes me think that they don't know the exact location themselves. Is there really nothing here? Just empty lockers? Wait, is it? Okay, pull lever, not use lever. Okay, that's... Okay, that's uh, speed. Okay. And... That doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay. And then we have one more up here. Okay, good thing that we gain access to all controls at once. Uh, but it's going to be the figure out which one does which. Okay, that's control. Okay, now we have one left. That's steering us to and front. Okay. Lever. Wonderful. It snapped right off. <laughs> okay, then we use a replacement. It fits. <laughs> of course. Okay. Let's see. Nope. Okay, is this bringing us closer each time? Nope. That's going back. Mm. 
Okay. Up. Down. Okay. Speed down. And lower. And, uh, up. Level. Uh, come on. There. Turn around. Hmm. Oh, well. better angle, I think, now. So, if you, you need to just go down. Oh. still end up behind all of this though okay let me see if it says anything right here about what to specifically do uh make a little floor take a plunger mm -hmm. okay once you found all the controls you can navigate and have it enter the airlock entrance Okay. Come on, turn. That's away. Okay. How can I consistently have this thing come closer? Is it only... Hmm. Are you missing something here? One, what does that switch do? Okay, that locks it. Oh, I think I know what to do then, perhaps. Okay. And, okay, we don't get control back in time for that. Hmm. We, we need to get closer than this, but it, it just turns back into the back and further towards the background. What the heck? Wait, is... look at oh. the whole... We okay. both did it at the same time, didn't we? Yep. Yep. Okay, that's about as far as it'll go, it seems. Okay, turn around. Okay, down. Get closer. No, nope, wrong way. No. There we go. Slow down. Down. No. Nope. Oh, that's closer. Other way, you stupid thing. Okay. Does it just have a limited amount of this that it can go into the background at some of these points? So. Down. Uh, I, I can't have wondered if you just stepped in the point everyone hated or something. Right. Left. 
right, left, right, okay, left, okay, now I'm getting it with this. Is that close enough? Hmm. Well, we need it to be on the right hmm. direction. Yeah. Okay. Lower. I'm not sure why we you'd want to lock down the rudder. Okay, lower. Is this far enough back? No. Seriously? Can we turn? This seems to be as far back as possible. It's the lever that controls the sub step. Yeah, pull. There. Now we need to hit the edge of the map. Okay. Let's try and adjust our height a bit more, full speed ahead until we hit the edge and turn back. Okay. Ugh. I know I, I what they wanted what to do, try to do here, but I think that it sounded better on paper situation. It's adjusting itself based on the depths in the background. Yeah, just because a game was good back in its day doesn't mean that it's uh, as a good comparable to the modern time. Okay. Full speeds, low as you can go. Yeah, I feel like they could have done this smoother. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure u boots control is not this convoluted. And not this spread around the ship either, but uh, well, we are as far back in the background as we can be. So just need to align the heights. The moment we can see it, I'm slowing down. Yeah, there. No, I, I, I realize that driving u is not easy, but I suspect the controls will be better than this. Uh, really? Still not. Okay, I'm just looking up more about this, because this is looking like absolute bullshit. Submarine... Uh, yeah, I will say this. Had we not been stuck on this damn thing, I would say we probably would be able to finish it, but now... Oh boy, now I'm unsure unless we extend it to six. Hillian. Says we are very close to the ending. Oh, that's. We need to park what? in backwards into it. That's what that, that stupid thing is for. Oh, for long. It's to reverse. Okay. Makes some sense, but you could park into it forwards as well. Yeah. Also, I cannot see at the moment. Give me a moment. There. Okay. Turn that around. Beep, beep, beep. And in we go. Okay, the, the fact that you need to reverse into it is just plain stupid. Yeah. 
Also, nobody noticed that someone just randomly grabbing control of all of this. I thought it was a captain. We're hundreds of feet below sea level, yet there's enough air pressure to keep the water out. How is it possible? Welcome to Atlantis, Lindy. Right, so what is this? What? Go ahead. Uh, it says we are very close to the end. This is up to you. Should we continue this around seven or eight? Hmm, maybe. We. I don't. We don't know how long the Atlantis section here may or may not be. Uh, let's see. It does mean that I have to skip? Let's see. Uh, does it? Uh... Okay. Yeah, it does look like there is quite a bit of Atlantis. I'm just glancing through the, through the numbers on the. <clears throat> Yeah, through the numbers on the list here, so I think we should be good for another stream. Okay. Do you think we really found Atlantis? I guess so. I just didn't think it would be so dark. <laughs> I guess we just gotta find the light switch then. And probably weld the Nazis into their tuna can. But do remember, we do also need to get out. True. Come on, Jones. It feels like a ladder. Okay. I trying to remember. For... I'm not sure we have about one hour or two hours remaining or not here. Depending how much we get lost. Hey, watch those hands, Buster. Okay, I just wanted to try that. Let's see. It feels like a steep, rocky incline. Okay, probably not a good idea to go down that. I can't Let's reach see. it. What time do I have many? Okay. Hour I... and a half, about, or a half hour if we just go for three. Yeah, for, if we go to six, it then I like would say we definitely should be able to finish it today. I it think. Can't move it. Hmm. Probably going to fall down here. Get your hands off me, Jones. Jones? Hey, you're not Jones. Help, Bindi! <laughs> 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 Oh, great. Kidnapped again. Sophia? If you honestly didn't hear that. I can't reach it. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. All right, then. I very much doubt that we'll be able to do this with whatever rocky thing there is there. I can't reach it. Yeah. But can you hit it with the ship rib? Uh, I can't reach it. No. Hmm. It feels like a steep rocky incline. Yeah. Then go up or down it. Oh. Oh. Okay, starting to adjust to the lights. It's not detail. Yep. It's going to be a bit tedious so to wait. There's the ladder. Okay. It is a rare thing. I think only... <laughs> I think only one other thing I can think of that does... Like... Does a... Uh... Can we just go up? No, he just refuses to go up it without a sufficient I light. Reach it. I think the only other game that I know of that has a uh, darkness adjustment is one of the Metal Gears or something. Hmm. But don't forget, many games also have a uh, gamma controls. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Just get up the incline, then, Jones. Hmm. 
Okay, I'll, let's see at the... This here. Uh, Wait. Da, 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 airlock. <clears throat> it, hmm. I think we need to really? use Kutina and Alcum in the sp spiral thing. Yeah, the spiral thing isn't interactable. We can get this ladder. Can we put that here? The ladder is in place. Okay. I'm pretty sure from what I can see that it's, there should be stairs there, but I guess they're broken. Okay. Now, what have we here? It feels like a stone box. It feels like a spindle for the stone discs. Okay, let's open the box. It's open. And it's a metal, metal rod. rod with an opening on one end. Okay, pick that up. Let's see. If... It's a metal rod. Okay, still we're on since, since we're still in the dark, we can't actually see it. Um, can we use these here? Yes. It feels like a stone disc. Okay, but need it light. Like a statue. Can we put the rod in the statue? I can't see what I'm doing. Hmm. Is this that, that thing is not interactable? Does it, I feel like I remember like that damn door. thing lighting up. Maybe it is a lamp, but we can't con interact with it. Uh, let's see. It feels like a statue. Hmm. It feels like a stone box. Okay, another hint here. It's, uh, notice some stone rubble. Sophia gets kidnapped. Mm hmm. Stone thing, box, open it. Oh, of course, I opened that. Okay. Yeah, uh, that was also one of my guess to put Urkalkum in that. There we go. Sophia, now? Where are you? Kerner must have grabbed her somehow. Now that damn thing is on. Apparently. Okay, uh, now what was it with this again? Darkness over the horns. And then... The volcano and... Was it the full moon or the new moon? I didn't seem to do anything. I didn't seem to do anything. Hmm. Da, da, da. Final entrance. Only be yielded to contrary minds. Okay, in the opposite of... Uh... So, darkness away from that. Then... Uh, let's see. What was the second passage? No passage. Okay. <laughs> Darkness conceals the horns. Pale dawn to shred the darkest night. Okay. So rising sun to full moon or new moon. So that should be new moon then, I think. Or up. Mm. And then the volcano. Yes, yeah, shut up, Jones. And let's see, night grip above the fiery peak. Uh, no rising sun. So the volcano needs to point away from the setting, you know, from the rising sun. I didn't seem to do anything. Hmm. Rising sun, volcano needs to point away from that. And this one also needs to point one of these. I didn't seem to do any. I didn't seem to do. Shut up. I didn't seem to do. I didn't seem to do anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I'll need to open up the... Let's see, which one of these was it? Let's see. Three stones. Okay, let's see. Darkness conceals the horn, so darkness beneath the horns needs to be opposite of that. So tall horns, darkness away from it. Moonstone. Uh, pale dawn to shred the darkest night. New moon with rising sun. Okay. So that needs to be opposite. And then... Yeah, the fiery peak is rising sun and volcano. But those needs to be opposite as well. So this should be good. I didn't seem to do anything. Of course. Hmm. The third, opposite alignment. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait. It's no. It's Shut statue. up, Jones. Okay. Darkness, and then it was the new moon above rising. That's already set. And the volcano should also be. Towards rising sun, yeah. Okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta. First line correctly, then rotate sun and moon four times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. The mouth of the statue opened. There we go. Okay, and put that back on. Thank you. Okay. And do we need. I'm guessing we need to use more El or Calcum here. Yep. Okay, that means we have only one left and a maze. Okay, that's just amazing. Not. Ooh. Hello. This must be Crab Central. Okay. Hmm. Oh, soldier. We'll have to avoid those, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you, know, you may end up need to fight now and then, but just be careful over which one you fight. Let's see, they are coming this way-ish. Okay, there's another room there. Hmm. Okay. They're probably trying to find our way to the middle. Okay, but we have the we have the advantage of just having an overview head view because game. Ooh. Okay. It's a cup. Too bad I can't reach it. It sure is ugly. <laughs> Let's see. I can't reach it from here. Is that moss or? Looks deep. Hmm. Moss or some sort of large algae. Let's see. Oop. Okay, they were heading in our direction for a second. More crabs. Okay. Oh, hello. It's another one of those stone robots. Okay. Before I use up the last of these, let me put down a save. A uh, golem or automaton? No, automatons remove metal, so... Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay, and then it just smashes itself. Uh, um I can't reach it. I can't from here. Okay. Can I seems to There we go. Does that have three horns? Ooh, this way quick. Probably don't want to get boxed in by that guy, but it seems that they move 
every time we get in here, yep, into a room. Okay, so I'm guessing this will be the prison. No, just more crabs and more vents. Let's see, this will bring us... Okay. That looks like it would be of some importance. Oh, how, how did we end up all the way over there? Okay. Uh, if, if you just get closer to the prison room... Doesn't look like it. Hmm. What have we here? Is that the... What, oh. One of these eel statues. Okay. I think we... Can't move it. Wait, it looks just do we have like the... the eel statue in Iceland. Do we have that uh, uh, Urukatkon detector with us? Yep. It's not pointing anywhere. There must not be any Urukatkon nearby. Okay. So we could use that to look for more. Yeah, we're probably going to be probably gonna need to. Hmm. So, here's the thing, if I remember right, we're going to need several of them here. Okay, for now, let's keep dodging that jackass. And I see was, where we can go. I remember, I remember we're going to need more. I'm not sure for what. I thought it was for one thing or several. I thought it was probably for several things. Yeah. It's, there's a room here we can go to. This is reminding me a bit from uh, this, the maze from the previous game, but a lot less annoying. Let's see. Um, does it look like cats? It's carved to look like a beetle. Can we push or pull that? It. Hmm. Can we open it? it seem to open. Ink. It appears to be a tube running back into the machine. Hmm. hmm. Looks like something's missing. Why? Okay. Spoke wheel. wheel. Hmm. Carved to look like a beetle. This is some sort of machine, very clearly. Maybe this is where the Orichalcum beads are made? Hmm. Would be very nice to, uh, if we could make some more of those ourselves. Let's see, there's a room there, there's a room there, and more there. Yeah, it looks like those, those vents will just put us uh, in completely different places, you know, completely random places. Can we scare all of these out of here? Shoot. I very much doubt that'll do anything. <clears throat> okay, what's over here? Oop. Okay, a workshop You'd for these the things. Wouldn't be such slobs. I think they probably had more uh, important things to deal with, like uh, all of this vanishing under the sea. Now we're over here. It's the tunnel leading back to where I came from. Okay. It seems to be an air vent. Nothing we can do there. Now, so these guys just set up, up, set up here real freaking quick. Unless they already knew, uh, uh, yeah, unless they already knew about Atlantis being here and they just need, actually no, then why would they look for the discs? Hmm. Okay, we'll just lose, we'll just chop it up to uh, them being real freaking quick with all of this. Yeah, the woman found the prison with the cell. Let's put her here. No, not the... Or 
Nope. Uh, yeah, we, we don't missed. see any sign of them putting up a camp or, or anything. Yeah, they're basically just roaming around. It's not like they've got the entire place uh, lined up with the electricity or such. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. Would they be able to enter it before us somehow? Hmm. Unless the door already it was open, we just closed it all. It sort of feel like there might be an oversight or there's something they, that was cut out. Hmm. Could be. Okay, we've got a lava pump. But not much more than that. I'm sure that's lava for it looks... Yep. Oh. Yep, molten lava. It could be that it's more refined or something because um, you would be suff you would be starting to suffocate if you were that close to it. It looks like a stone fish head. Yoink. Okay, we'll probably be able to use that to weigh something down. Okay, for now, that is about all we can find here, I think. So let's try and find our way. To, to the jail. <clears throat> is he going our way? Yes, he is. So let's just reset them. There. Okay, still in our way. Still heading our way as well. Are they somehow hearing us or something? No. Okay, they are just traveling around randomly then. Okay, as long as we can sneak around then. <clears throat> okay, that's good. Let's take a look over here. It's very clearly collapsed, so we won't be able to get past, I'm presuming. Yep, just a dead end. <clears throat> Unless we fix that later. Okay. Any rooms here that we missed? Doesn't look like it. I'm presuming that the ones that are unimportant, they're just called rooms. And the ones with some importance... Oh, hello. There's two there, but they're blocked off. Hmm. So unless we find a vent that leads there, we can only just go down here. Let's see, there's a room, there's a block, uh, there's a blockage, so we may as well turn back and try and get by this guy. Then, actually, I think the vent here led here, so that would be a yeah. shortcut for us. Or, actually, not that, there's no vent there, but there was one here, I think. Look, there we go. Or nuts. Okay. There. Okay, which one was it then that led there? Hmm. Okay, if we get too close, we'll get into a fight, I presume. I'd rather not. One, because we have no idea where they go. Um. Hmm. Okay. okay. This is concerning. I guess they got lost. Hmm. Wait, we can't go. Uh, there we go. Come on. Indeed. All the way. Okay. Hmm. Oh, and there's the way to get further in. Okay, just... The decayed fountain. Yeah, and we... I'm pretty sure we need to rescue her. Yeah. <laughs> or she'll haunt Indy for the rest of his life. Okay. It's got a wide open mouth. 
Okay, so it needs orichalcum, which we've used up. So we need to make more with that machine, I'm presuming. The sentry statues have it locked up tight. Hmm. Still no idea what the food and such is for. Ooh. Let's see. Healing or bribe, perhaps? No, they just put some back there. Okay, now we can sneak past. Hmm. Okay, music audio just took a dive. Is in the volume. Let's see, what is over here? And we've gone full circle, so we need to find some way to get into the blocked off section. Which might be here. Oops. Okay, that used to be something, I presume. There we go. Okay, and is this the prison room? No. But there is this. Must have been part of some ancient machine. What a mess. Hmm. Okay. And how do we get to Sophia? Hmm. Can we just move past this? No. Okay. We've seen every room. Let's see. We... It's a porcelain beer stein. We don't have any acids. Hmm. I don't think this game was one of those where you could get yourself stuck. If we missed something. Unless we can... Maybe we can go back to the U-boat. Hmm. I very much doubt that we can carry around some lava in the porcelain stein. <laughs> Mm. Unless he's mistaken uh, the lava, uh, uh, it's not the lava. For we could know. It was Ron and Roger! Clean the work, and many people think lava runs like water, but it doesn't. Yeah. And again, it could be some sort of a refined version or something. It's, well, far less in the, uh, <laughs> far less in the toxic gases. Yeah, and I think we should have seen people mistake molten metal for lava. Both over the oh, pleasant to fall into, I am pretty sure. Yeah. Hmm. Sophia? What? I just crawled through a mile of mud for you. It was a picnic compared to life in this cell. Are you alright? I'll feel a lot better once you open this cell. Did you miss me? Put it this way, even your company beats this cell. <laughs> okay, there is nothing to do it. here. Okay, so how do we get there then? We've seen... A, wait, it could be in the inner circle, but we need Orichalcum to open that door, I'm pretty sure. Unless I missed a room somewhere? Well, it looks like hmm. there's two doors over there at the entrance. That's the... the airlock. Hmm... Hold on a second... Let's head this way... Maybe there's a room here I missed? Let's see, room, room... Hmm... Yeah, best I can think of is that it's somehow in the... in the, the second circle or something. Hmm... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure most of those rooms are just nothing. The only place we really didn't check... Actually... 
We should look at this thing a bit it's more. A okay, so it's just a light stick. Hmm. Can we pick up the stones? Yes, we can. Probably should. Though I'm not sure we'll have too much use of it anymore. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta like suspect they... Sort of tunnel collapse here. Yeah, I gotta suspect that the door was already open, and once they entered, they closed the door on Indy. No. No, again, they, they, they probably wanted the... Uh, the stones to get in just in case. Or something, I guess. Mm. Or, uh... Yeah, it doesn't make sense that they got in without the stones somehow, unless they had like a night vision goggle, which I'm pretty sure didn't exist back in the 40s. Yeah, mm. it didn't. And I would not be surprised if they are behind the collapse. Okay, need to check the guide again then. Put away the stone thing. And now we are hmm. at five, but I'm willing to go one hour if you are. Just... Mm -hmm. To the right of the metal door, there's a stone statue. Yeah. Hold on, the crabs. Hmm. They're crawling through that uh, hole in the wall. And another one there. It's... Use hmm. pool. Uh... Can we close it? Seem to close. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. So it's, um, maze. From this point, you can basically go wherever you want inside this maze. The halls and rooms are in concentric circle. Many rooms, patrols. You'll have to either fight him or and beat him senseless, which I'd lose some bratwurst sausage from one of them, <laughs> or run. Uh, location of each of the key rooms changes every time you play, so we'll have to do a little exploring. Okay. Mm -hmm. His name will appear on the map. The rooms you'll find nothing of value, but there are also key you know, rooms. Mm -hmm. Okay, collect every item you can find inside the maze, find more Oracle beads, and rescue Sophia. Okay. Let's see. And yeah, I was right about the machine room that makes more orichalcum. But there are two parts to be found. Two pegs where you can put parts. Okay, bronze wheel. You can pick it up, but best to leave, best to leave it. Oh, okay. And we, we found a bronze wheel in a different room. Oh yeah, okay. you, you, you never picked it up. Let's see, that is where it is, where the, where the machine is. It would be nice if we could just travel a lot faster here, but oh well. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, we need, uh, the, we need the robot rooms. Room, room. Statue room. Yeah, that's uh, where you've got the fish head. I was supposed to robot room or golem. <laughs> no, really? Okay, apparently we need to pick up the ladder to get across the hole in the <clears throat> in that room. Okay, let's see if we can uh, go collect it. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, we can't go back to the sub anyways, so might as well pull up the ch yeah, <laughs> pull up the ladder behind us in a quite literal way. Okay. Pick that up. Okay. Let's see. Crab room. Mm -hmm. You need to capture one of the crabs. Uh -huh. Subway car. 
Okay, this is a, it's a subway that goes around. But there's... Uh, let me check something for a moment. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah. Down. It's next. Which path? Okay, always in the lo same location, the lower right. Okay. So we did need to check the other collapsed area because there's that's where we can find a bit for a trap to catch, uh, well, a crab. Okay. Hmm. Oh dear. And yeah, I should probably I... not to speak up more when I see something like, like you should grab. Yeah. Let's so see. It's, Lava it's room. Like I'm about to do that, you start speaking. <laughs> Mm hmm Okay, we need a stone cup for this. Okay. Yeah, I really wish we could just uh, travel around a lot faster here. But, yeah, with enemies to potentially dodge, that uh, wouldn't work out fully. Make it too easy to dodge them, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. If let's if we get if one gets in our way again, let's just try attacking them and seeing how that goes. So save seven. Okay. Halt! We don't like people who get in our way, especially not the likes of you, Head Jones. We'll see about that. Put them up. Uh, okay, Ned. Alright, this is our first combat scene uh, system here. Okay, and apparently it works by clicking instead of using the num keys. I forgot okay. that this is the only area we have combat possibly. It's. Okay, it showed a, a question mark there for a second. Hmm. Okay, let's hope that we heal between fights. Otherwise, the next fight is immediately going to lay us out. Okay, ladder, hole, across. I don't think that'll work. Just get across, Jones. There we go. Okay. Pick up Rusty. the stone cup. Get across. Okay, pick it back up. And go. Okay, that's that dealt with. Uh, let's go down the hallway. Or the subway. Okay. The hallway was subway? Right, you want to spell? Okay. Mm. And more and more of those locations have been closing around uh, where I live. Yep. So yeah, I guess they're not doing too well. It's a cage of ribs, more or less intact. I guess this really was the end of the line. Really, Jones? Now, this might be useful. Okay. <laughs> the rest just collapses in on itself. Okay, would have been nicer if that one was on the other side, closer, because, yeah, I just thought that this would just be another closed-off hole. Okay, so now we have... Uh, really, they respawn? Okay. Oh, dear. I am mean, impressed that they have made bronze and stone able to work together as machines. Okay, here we go. 
Mm. I can suspect that just carving out things from stone is not the easiest. Yeah. But they probably have tools to make it easier, but still, you would expect there may be more bronze items. Or other metals. Uh, not this room. Crab room. At least, that's it. I was expected them subdruid train to be more metal than stone. Okay. We need to make a trap of sorts with this. Wait, really? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Crab room. Oh, we can use some of the meat that we used. And we found there. I don't think that'll work. Okay, uh, pick it back up. Bratwurst would work. Okay, now it's baited. Okay. I hope this catches crabs. <laughs> well, apparently it does. But. Oh. Oh. There's a feisty crab in there. <laughs> Okay. Uh, it snapped at wh what? What? Huh? Again, apparently we can combine these together for a, a submarine sandwich made from food found on the submarine. Oh, okay, God. that's that, that is a decent pun if you ask me. Okay. And as I, <laughs> I just realized, you used a rib cage to trap the crab. Yeah. That that is almost a monkey island level pun. It's the same makers. True. But Indiana Jones is supposed to be more serious. Okay. More serious, you say? I guess Mostly. a little bit, but still. They have plenty of silly moments. Okay, now we need to find the machine rooms, like, or the robot rooms again. Also the lava room. Huh? Since we're about talking about silliness, like Temple of Doom, I think this is plenty about the person who decided to hide seem to work. a hidden door by pressing the bosom of a, a fireplace statue. I don't think that'll work. <laughs> okay. To the turn. Uh, oh, as, wait. Even as, as a kid, I face palm that I felt like, really? Looks like something is missing. Okay. Uh, let's see. Speak? Okay, apparently... This needs to be put here. Okay, I can kind of see it. Like the uh, ears in there. Okay, so why is it for it or is it supposed to be used uh -huh. for something? Okay. Why exactly why exactly that statue head or did would any statue head around here that would have survived do? Maybe only yeah. that is what it's supposed to be for that part. Hmm. You just found the spare part? Could be, or a spare parts. Hmm. No. Wait, 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 hold on. We have lava in a cup. Yep. In a stone cup. It's a very hot drink. I don't drink it. It also may mean it may not be lava, and especially if it haven't cooled down yet. Could be something else. Yeah. Here, robot parts, bronze spoked wheel. Okay. Yes, I saw that earlier. There we go. I, I, I was to tell you that then we got distracted by something. Yeah, the, the fact that it's unnamed had me thinking that there wasn't anything important there, right? All right. <clears throat> 
Uh, let's go back in. I hope that guy runs off to the other side. Yes, he does. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I can definitely see why this game gets so much love, but it's also very clear that some of its stuff doesn't... You know, maybe it's more just modern uh, preferences that don't match up with it, like being unable to really travel around fast around here. Hmm. Let me put Destiny. up another save. There we go. And let's see if our health refilled or not. Or can we just... nope. Dr. Jones is it. Now we've got you. We'll see about that. Let's get this over with. My dot exactly. Okay, so our health does refill. And we get our... <laughs> we get our ass kicked. We were to win. Indy discovered Atlantis, but the Nazis won the race to unearth its secrets. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing that it would be different depending on uh, where we would, well, get beaten if there were other opportunities for that to happen. Because there are th there are three no, there are three paths that you can take with this game: the team path with Sophia, then there's the wits path where it's more focused towards puzzles, and then there's the fist path, where that's what they're called at least. Uh, not sure if they're called that officially. But oh. yeah, fist path would very obviously be uh, very much more for combat, with many more chances to get your own ass kicked. Hmm. That's where we got the eel thing. But we still have no idea of what it might do. Hmm. Okay, where was that other robot room? I thought it was labeled, but I thought I, I guess not. So we'll have to look through every single one of these damn rooms again. Hmm. You're not an engine. <laughs> okay, since he is moving that way, might as well check here. No. Check there. We, we've got plenty of crabs around. Hmm. Don't take that out of context, people. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure that one of the robot rooms was labeled as such before, but apparently I got that wrong. Let's see, where does this bring us? Over here. Hmm. We already got the stone cup from there. If we go through here, I think we end up at Sophia. No, it's where we got the eel statue. Or statuettes. Hmm. I think the only difference between a statue and a statuette is the size of it, or if it's portable enough. Yeah, I think a statuette is a smaller one. That is indeed portable, but like, you can pick it up with your hand. You don't need an entire cart to pull it around. Let's see, we've checked there, we've checked every room on this quarter. Actually, yeah, uh, that's your favorite. If uh, he ever heard or seen a statuette in that, with that name used, there has always been a small statue that you can hold in your hand without issue. Just with those symbols. Okay, there, there, over there. Let's take a peek in this room. Hmm. Let's see. 
Let me check. Machine room. Mm -hmm. Bronze wheel picked up as best to leave it. Or... Let's see. Missing parts. Need to find parts of the maze. Mm -hmm. Unless we need to find the really? machine. Mm -hmm. Okay. I... Uh, I may have misread this before, and that it's actually supposed to be a parts, not parts. Let's see. Okay, Robot so we were meant to go here, the, uh, back here then. Yep. Bronze gear in one, and a bronze spoked wheel in the other. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. L stone wheel, spoked wheel. Can we put that there? Well, that looks much better. Okay. And then this with that. Is that all that needs to be done here? It does say that there is a second robot room with another piece, but that might not be used here. Was this quite up, quite up high? Okay, that is a lot of beads. And they make it out of lava. Unless... Well, but that's it. well, it looks... calcum beads. I'll put them in the box too. Unless there's or calcum traces in the lava that you get refrain the out from this. Hmm. Yeah, this... The book said that the, the only place that you could find a supply would be here, but does that mean that it's in the lava itself and needs to be refined out? Or that it, this is the only place that knows how to make orichalcum? Hmm. Okay, uh, let's go f find that robot room again. Wait, or bronze lava, gear. That is just made of molten stone, but also... But does that mean that there's also molten metal in it? True. So I guess they have a machine to remove the molten stone and separate the mineral. Yeah, if it is, if it isn't just made from the, ah, there it is. If it isn't just made from the lava itself, because that would basically be a near infinite, no, not not near infinite, but a. That you could make a hell of a lot of orichalcum out of lava, seeing as, well, there's an entire freak ton of it all around the planet. Yeah. Okay. And, hmm. Let's try and reset this guy to where he's behind us. Actually, I'm not sure that's going to work since we're coming from here and they're not, I'm going to assume that the game won't put them near us. So if we go into here and leave again, I think it's just always going to put him on the right there, or or not. Okay, uh, can we get lucky enough that you just know he's coming straight for us? Okay. I guess we'll either just have to fight them, or take the other way around. Or he can just go in there. That also works for us. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Look, looking at the, the, the chat program I've got running on the sides, uh, I'm going to need to clear out some bots, it seems, because there is a Quite a few very obvious bot names there. Oh dear. Just need to get this guy to move upwards. There we go. Then we can sneak by. Okay. 
since we basically have an infinite amount of these now, or at least a few dozen, I'm presuming. Uh-oh, that didn't work very well. Oops. Well, it, has, it has been in the, in the... I think it has missed a few maintenances over the centuries. A few millions. Uh, Million? See. How would you think Atlantis is? Very. Uh, let's love a prompt, grab room, heal room, yeah. Subway, sentry room, okay. Uh, double door is submerged in a pool of water. To clear out the water, simply insert. Oh, okay. Uh oh. So, this thing is not actually some sort of beacon like uh, Heimdall thought. Hey, it's getting hot. It's a heat coil. Which makes sense since, well, it heated itself up to, <laughs> to get, uh, for us to get it out of the uh, ice. And I guess that destroyed the sculpture itself. It's all that's left of the eel statue. Yep. I don't need a worthless heap of slag. Okay. Um. Can we try this again then? I'm. Okay. It's good enough. <laughs> Okay, they weren't strong enough to push all the water away. <clears throat> or we'll move the door and do that. Okay, here we are. That does make me wonder again, how the hell did they get past all of that? Once it was a priceless artifact, now it's a pile of junk. Yeah, technically it could still be considered a part, <laughs> an artifact, just a that bunch of artifacts. <laughs> Sophia? Yes? See you soon. <laughs> Don't leave me here, Indy. Okay, now how do we actually open this, though? Yeah. That skull disturbs me, but that skull have, looks like it have horns. Hmm. Is there did, some controls did, around here? They did speak of the freaks in this uh, area. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Another grade is useless. Already added that. Uh, used to talk to, but not too much. Mm hmm. Okay, so if we hadn't activated the statue, we would have needed to fight the guard. So, good thing we did. Uh. Wait. Jones! Don't you dare leave me here, you you troglodyte! <laughs> okay, apparently we need to pick up the head here, but I'm pretty sure it looks way too big. Or not. Uh let's see. Ta -da -da -da. Oh. Notice that there's a gear that comes out of the statue as it crashes to the floor. I think we were a bit too busy to notice, well, everything else about it just stomping a Nazi into paste. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's the part in here that, that, that they are talking about. Okay. Um... Yeah, it says pick up uh, something there. that statue parts. Okay. Yeah. But that basically just looks like any other part of the debris, so... Okay, yeah, good thing that I... <laughs> good thing that I put, uh, kept the guards. Here, Jones. <laughs> uh, otherwise, we, I, we would have been stuck here for multiple hours, probably. And, uh... Okay. A god squid! Something, something, seen enough. Okay, pile of bones. I'm presuming that if we just try to walk around here, I can't board it from here. It looks pretty hungry. It's a pile of bones. 
Okay, I was actually expecting it to just try and grab us immediately. Can we just throw it this I don't at think them? That'll work. I don't think that'll work. <laughs> uh, it'll probably be like something a bit more raw. <laughs> yeah, it liked it a bit more raw. I can't board it from here. Okay, can we use the ladder to get across? Work. Hmm. We still have the map. Let's see. We need to get I to that. Plato described waterways like this. It probably goes all the way around the city. Hmm. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I thought we'd have to do something to get around. It's not operating. Uh. Grab like raft. Really? Does it need a pill? Yes, it needs a pill. Oh, this thing's got a motor. Yeah, that okay, is made of bronze. It. It's a stone knob. It's closed. Okay. We need to use these things here. Yep. Okay, just put them on and pull them off. Okay. Hmm. Okay, use with spindle. Hmm. It doesn't quite fit. Okay, that means a smaller one. Yes. Okay, this is to ensure that you have every one of these. Mesh for them when they lived here. Listen. Uh, but they need to. Re re everyone required to be carry all these stones, discs? This must be one of the canals Plato uh, wrote about. Uh, are you. Let's you're talking going. to yourself, Jones. Okay, world stone with this one. Yes. Okay. It's floating over here. Maybe we can find something here. There's a few heads in the walls, but they're, decor they're decorative only, it seems. Ooh. Hello. Um. Shades. It's a broken statue. It's a bronze loop. It's a loop of bronze where the arm used to connect. Hmm. It's a chain through a loop of stone. Let's see. First thing that comes to mind... I don't think that'll work. Nope. Hmm. It's an arm of the statue. Okay, let's head on back. Do we need to read it again? No, okay. Let's see, I'm guessing I'm guessing this one here. It doesn't quite fit. Okay, world stone. Okay, so <clears throat> sun, moon, worlds, worlds, moon, sun, I'm presuming. Let's see what we can find up here. Hmm. We are close to the end, but I don't think we'll be able to finish it in the remaining half hour that we have. Yeah, but I, Must have been part I don't of feel like... Is it, I think we are so close to the end that it might be good to maybe continue the that Seven or eight. Mm. Uh, I wouldn't want to risk it because there's also still dinner. Yeah, so it's probably better at eight. Yeah, if we... If, if we... Yes. Uh, let's One? see. Moonstone. That does mean that uh, I'll have to have a new game prepared next week when we finish this off. Yeah, though... Then again, you have an entire week to be ready. 
Yeah. And plenty of games installed at the moment that we could do, like Retro Machina, uh, Seasons After Fall. Yeah, so... Yeah, again, I'm not a, I'm not against for us to continue this around eight uh, uh, around eight o'clock. Yeah, we'll have to see though, and I think we've gone a full circle. Uh, let's see. Circle of life. Right. But what did I get that from? <laughs> Lion King. Did I really say it like that? <laughs> Wait. I should realize I. I grew up with this Swedish dub of Lion King. I only heard the English version in meme form. Okay. Oh, wait. They stay open? That's good. That's good. That is good, yeah. <clears throat> okay. I... Apparently, we need to do something with the sentry. I guess they're supposed to stay here. open until someone uses this to close them off for, well, maintenance or something. Yeah, or to just trap intruders or something. Mm. Hmm. But yeah, we need this thing and we need to do something with the, uh... Let's see. Mm hmm Okay. Get off here. Okay, apparently that cupboard, uh, cupboards that we just uh, found is supposed to be for storing replacement parts here because we can check these things inside. So let's see, use chain. Can we hang that around there? Is it presumed? Yep, yeah, it, it's connected to the door. So we need to get this to work. And yes, we do need the, the ladder again. Okay. It's closed. Yeah, then open it, smart ass. It seem to close. Yep. It, it Wrong press button. close. <laughs> yep. And just tore the entire thing off. It's debris from the robot. I can't pick that up. Okay, so it's of no use to us. Okay. Um. There, I think. Hmm. It just spat the bead back out. It just spat the bead back out. The bead won't fit there. Hmm. That won't work. We miss it something? That won't work. Okay, up there. There. It just spat the bead back out. Hmm. Oh. Okay, it gets turned. It just spat the bead back out. Let's see. It just spat the bead back out. I can't put it there. It just spat the bead back out. Hmm. The bead won't fit there. It just spat the bead back out. Okay. Nothing happened. Okay, we'll need to find that cupboard again. Take a look at the design on it. And use that to, well, figure out how to put those you new know, things. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, but <laughs> if I'd gotten my hands on a game like this, uh, way, you know, I would have been absolutely stuck on it for months, probably. Which is sort of the idea, because back in the day when you got a game like, you know, in the age that you got these games, uh, it was you didn't get games that often anyways, so it wouldn't matter too much for being on them. Yeah. Let's see. Look at cupboard. Okay. Um, 
Oh, I think this means the well, what sort of movements you want them to make? Let me make a photo. Come on, phone. Okay. So that thing in the middle. Okay. So we know that thing is supposed to be in the middle, and then the sun disk is supposed to be in one of those spots opposite of the present thing. Okay, so the gear needs to be on the opposite end of where you want, need it to go. If the arm is up, it goes... the gear goes up. Alright. It make It's better than just uh, random things to, that don't make sense. It actually makes sense of where the parts go and such. Yeah, this is one of the moments I feel like a kid would, uh, if they are smart enough, they would take pen and paper. Yeah. And luckily, it's these places are next to each other. Okay. So what we want to happen... Is that we want this arm to go down, I think. So we want the present parts on the right. Or... Hmm. Actually, would that achieve anything? Uh, let's... Let's put this away. You go in the middle anyways. You there. You there. I just spat the bead back out. Okay, arm down. I just spat the bead back no. out. No. Okay, then it needs to be the other way around. I can't put it there. I can't put it there. <laughs> I just spat the bead back out. Okay. I just spat the bead back out. Okay. Right? Hmm, let me see. Uh, canal, archway, huge sentry statue, large double door. <laughs> Five different parts on your bottom screen. Wait. One, two, three. There's one missing. We're uh, all missing see. something. Mm hmm. Stone spindles above each of the gates leading to other parts. It's the uh, stone disc one after the other. Uh, mm -hmm. Crescent shaped gear. Pick it up. Close it. The look. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Did we need it? Let's see. Machine room. Uh, damn, we need. <laughs> damn it, Nothing we needed happened. to take one of the the wheels with. Okay, nice to reuse stuff, but you'd think that once you put something on a machine, you'd be done with it. Again, this is something that probably would have gotten people stuck for quite a while. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, you, you can you can yeah you can probably say plenty about how uh, gamers of today are spoiled with uh, wanting things to be easy and instant gratification and such, but you gotta admit that some of these things can be really annoying. Yeah, I will try to strike a middle ground. This is probably a trickier part to do. Yeah, one, one thing that would have helped a lot with this was to just let you fast travel or speed up. Which is something that later adventure games definitely picked up on. Though I don't remember when that may have started. Hmm. Okay. Just park the thing, get off, and then we need to make our way all the way back to the machine room. Backtracking like this, definitely... Ugh. There, there, Captain. There, there. Take deep breaths. Oh. Okay, okay, I thought for a second we were actually going to get into a fight there. Okay. Just skedaddle away. 
Okay. Um, yeah, that way. Hmm. I'm not seeing... Oh. It, it's a big spoked wheel, so that's what the circle around the mouthpiece is. Oh. Okay. I thought it was decorative. Same. Uh, looks like uh, parents are heading off to the uh, bi-weekly dinner at the aunt and uncle's, so they'll probably want me to follow soon enough. Okay. Yeah, there, uh, again. There. I'm up for an extra stream for... We are if damn close. If I'm right, we are close. Go back in to get him to head another way. That's even worse. Okay, then he just ceases to exist. All right. <clears throat> okay, he's heading a good direction for us. Okay. Hmm. I think I think we have about an hour remaining less, probably. Depending how much stuck we get. Hmm. That's it. Okay, the, the guide is getting to the lower end. Give me a second on this. Yeah, it comes out. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, did you yeah. say you, you come soon? Yep. All right. I guess I'm slowly picking up Dutch. <laughs> okay, we leave uh, Sophia to dry for a bit longer. Because we both try to stay dry by not going into the water again. Especially since we know there's octopi in there. I know octopi is the correct term, but... I still yet imagined a octopus pie. <laughs> Yum. There, probably, there probably is a, there probably is a way to make pie with octopus, but I would never touch it. But there, there is like, there is eel pie. <laughs> you can call me picky, perhaps, but there's some things that I would definitely not mix together. Yeah, same. Like, I, I'm trying to be less picky, but there's the lines. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I will try haggis. Hmm. Unsure it, on that. But more of, at least, try it one time. Thing. Like, the, the, I feel like there's worse options compared to haggis. Okay. But Zeus drumming? No, thank you. That's that. I can't pick it up. I'm already holding something. There, there. What the heck? Okay. Um. Yeah, you've got the arm to move. Yeah, it creaked, but it didn't actually move. Hmm. Okay, do we need to move the other arm then? For s well, the other arm is broken. And there. There. <laughs> Wait. Did, did they have to put a jingle in this thing? Here. I think we need to put the other chain on the other ho the handle. Uh, actually, yeah, that would that might make you uh, sense. Uh, use chains. Get down from here first. Yeah. I thought for something off. Is it the arm is broken? The reach that far. Hmm. Okay, but, it can't reach that far. 
Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Huge sentry, use the sta chain on the statue's right arm. Next, climb up, look inside. Mm -hmm. Once you have all the parts, think back to the diagram. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Crescent shape on the right. Okay. So it, this is how it is supposed to be. And... Upper left. Okay. Wait. The crescent gear on the right. The bronze gear on the... Uh, upper left. Okay, but... That's what we just did. Okay, there we go. Now oh, we wait. can use the chain. I better get down from here first. Okay. There and there. Okay, then we move its arm up. And it'll open the door. There we go. I thought something was off. There Sense, we go. Well, it's all the arm is broken in in uh, by the elbow. Yeah. This machinery is strange, but it's it still makes sense. <laughs> As we just utterly smash a bronze door. Knock knock. Wait, these look different. Some crap headies. Oh, horrible. Hmm. Wait, that bone looks strange. Could be the angle, maybe, but yeah, it looked like... Ooh, lava pits and... A whole bunch of bones from the looks of it. Yeah, so this is sacrificial pit. pits. Dude, they did say it had a little free... I think they did experimentations. Yeah, Do you see the skull there? It's a lava pit full of calcified skeletons. Uh, Do you see the skull uh, at the uh, corner? There. Yeah. I think we I know where they use the term free. Oh, don't grow like this naturally. Where do you suppose they come from? Hmm. Mars? Hell, look at those feet, or whatever they were. Fins? I bet this one never won a beauty contest. Neither would you, Jones. Hmm. Wait, were they trying to adapt to uh, the rising waters? We're trying to breed a species that would be able to adapt? Perhaps. Hmm. But the question is, were they successful or did they utterly fail? Yeah. Now, now you can see why I was concerned when I saw the term uh, freaks in the book. The eyes look like they're following me. Oh no. That's a door? Uh, uh, hello? Oh. Atlantean APC? It's a huge version of the Microtar statue. Okay. Microtar? Uh, the thing that started all of this. Wait, are we are getting? Are we actually running out of Orichalcum now? I just suppressed it. The, it's what called Microtor. Is it real? Let's see. Can we and get it's off this thing? Up. Hmm. Strange markings. It's the door to the middle ring. Uh, Did you stop? Atlantean graffiti. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, okay. That, that's why it looked weird, because the drill head is just almost poking out into the next room. Or the yeah, hallway. What was, what was, is that a demonic penguin or something? Terrifying. Oh, wait, mm. there's... Wait, there was something else on the wall there. Just 
Yeah, look. Hmm. More Atlantean graffiti. Hmm, an arrow and a bunch of dots. The other one was and a spiral. Two. Hmm. Music is just completely gone. Oh, this will make you feel un more uneasy. Hmm. Are we just walking in a circle now? Yes. Okay, so this is the literal inner circle. Yeah. I've... But I oh, think we'll have to call it here. Yeah. Again, I'm up for an extra steam with around eight. For I know, I feel like I have a damn good feeling we are within the last hour of this game. Let's see. Mm hmm. Okay, apparently this is also a point where we have to make a choice. Mm -hmm. Not whether to rescue Sophia or not. So let's actually go rescue Sophia or she will absolutely haunt us until the end of our days. Yeah. Let's okay. hope that there's still time for it because now all the music is gone. So I hope I didn't just put a save down at a point of no return. But then we can always just go back one. But for now, uh, yeah, let's go look for someone to raid quickly. I uh, wouldn't want to take too long with making everyone wait for dinner. So let's see. Uh, no, not that. Let's see, there's only a few people online. We have Hisai Razir with Hypnospace Outlaw. That sounds familiar for some reason. Not familiar. Uh, I'm Nice is online with Moonglow Bay. Redacted Cat is playing YGO Omega. Is that Yu-Gi-Oh! Shortened for something? Because that typically does Yes, that's Yu-Gi-Oh! Shortened. Okay. Typically that doesn't get shorted. And... Alex the Hyena... The, the, the Hyena is playing Dragon Ball The Breakers. Hmm. You got any... You want to pick any of those or shall I? I will let you take a pick, since you're mm. the most on rush. Okay, let's go say hi to Nice then. So, slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Uh, I see one lurker I recognize in chat, and that's Noon. <laughs> thank you for lurking. And thank you anyone else who isn't a bot. Probably easier to say than what I've typically been saying. <clears throat> and, yeah. Um, tomorrow, maybe some multiplayer, depending on if Liz and Rom are available. We'll hopefully continue with Borderlands. If only Liz is available, we'll finally continue with CrossCode. And, hmm, otherwise we'll just have to see if we do a stream at all. <laughs> yeah. Um, we will see if we do a stream later today or not. Yeah. Uh, we'll see about that. For now, though, let's get that raid started. There. And, yeah. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone. See you later, maybe, and watch out for undead seagulls. <laughs> and uh, Atlantean uh, freaks, whatever they may turn out to be. <laughs>